High rollers. High rollers. Hi, Rylos. Ho! Hello. Welcome to High Rollers D&D. &D. Uh, we were talking about 80s children's cartoons uh, before we went live, and now I'm mega pumped and hyped. Welcome to our little D&D oh. show here on High Rollers D&D. &D. I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes, and joining me, my lovely friends. Uh, we have Rhiannon, Kim, Tom, hello. Trot, and Katie. Uh, hello, friends. Hello, everyone. Welcome. What up? Uh, I'm pumped. What I'm ready up? to go. We're going to jump straight into it, starting off with saying a big thank you to our sponsor for this week, D&D Beyond, Chris Trot. Okay, this actually isn't pre-recorded this time because I thought I'd show you this really cool tool live. So let's switch over to my desktop to show you the Avray Discord bot. Did you know you can use Avray, the D&D Beyond Discord bot, to make D&D &D over Discord super easy? Yeah, I've got a logo. Nice. I've got some zooms, so you can see what I'm typing. <laughs> Hello. Delete, delete, delete. Uh -huh. So you can link Avray directly to your D&D Beyond account, and it'll help you run your games online with your friends. So I've got Lucius here. I can see his sheet very quickly by typing this. Ding dong. So Avray bot features advanced dice, so I can make a very quick athletics check, for example. I've got a 21, very athletic, very nimble. Or I could make a, another check, which is, say, just a straight dex check. 18. Or I could roll some advanced dice. So I can either do exclamation mark roll or just R. And let's just do 20d20. 20 20. 232, along with all the individual rolls that came with it. Pretty cool. It's also got SRD and initiative tracking, so you'll never need another D&D &D bot. Oh, I didn't know I had... Initiative tracking, that's pretty cool. Wait, what? Everyone roll for initiative, what? What's happening? <laughs> initiative 13, round one, Lucius. I guess it's my go. Uh, um, I'll, I'll cast a spell, cast acid splash. Uh, damage, nine, five, failure. Nice, uh, damage of nine. Uh, he's bloodied, very nice. Orc one attacks with a great axe, damage four. I'm down to 34 HP. Orc 2 attacks with a, a javelin, but that's only an 8. It's only an 8. <laughs> We're okay. Orc 3 attacks with a great axe again to hit 18, 13 slashing. <laughs> you can do this, Lucius. Cast a vitriolic sphere. Cast the spell. I did it! They're all dead! Amazing! So why not try Avray Discord bot for yourself? Head to this link, dndbeyond.link slash Avray to try it out for yourself. It's really fun. Anyway, back to you guys. That <laughs> nice. You almost sold you almost Christ. sold that it's not pre-recorded well bit. Done. But at the end, you're like facing oh. one way and it cuts back and you're facing the other way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the problem. Uh, that was the that was the problem. Yeah, that was, yeah, that Brock, was the slow motion well, black no, and white I, shot. Obviously I meant nah. that, but it was just funny. The um <laughs> Very oh. well done, Chris Trot. Thank you for sharing uh, that with us and telling us all about Avray Bot. Wasn't gonna... I said I wasn't going to cry this week, but you've got me in the first... <laughs> Every, time you, <laughs> Every time you get him. Every time you get him. Thank you, Chris Trot, for always putting an effort on these. Uh, seriously, thank you, D&D &D Beyond. Uh, you've been a great sponsor, but also loving the fact that we get to share these cool tools that exist, and they keep developing yeah. more stuff, like Avray Bot and, yeah. and the dice. Absolutely. It all just keeps developing and building. Um, and if you'd like to support us, one of the best ways you can do that is use that link. It will be in chat. It will be in the video description. Use that link uh, because it does say to D&D &D Beyond, hey, I came here from High Rollers and then they'll keep sponsoring us and we get to keep working with them, which we would like to do. Uh, so do check that out. Um, thank you very much, Chris Trot. Uh, other couple of things. One thing I wanted to briefly mention before we get into the episode is new merch. So we've not had some new merch in a little bit of time. Um, and we've had a few things sold out on our store recently, but I do have some updates for you. So we have a Quill t-shirt in the works. It's actually been in the works for a while, but thanks yes! to the global pandemic and stuff, it got delayed. Quill t-shirt oh! should be out very, very soon. Tom's very happy with it. It's a really cool design. Yeah! Um, so keep an eye out on our Twitter Jeez. and the store yeah! for that. 
Uh, we are also going to be restocking our yeah, Prime hoodies, which sold out. Um, we had to get a replacement model of hoodie, so we're getting a brand new stock of those in, as well as a restock on our plastic dice, as well as a brand new portable dice tray. This is a tester version. The inside of the real one will actually be felt, um, but it has like an embossed HR logo, and it kind of all folds down so you can travel with it. Um, it's, it's like a cheaper alternative of, uh, you know, having a nice dice tray to take with you and still have a really lovely little uh, item as well. So those will be coming out soon. And then the main thing is in Dis in November, sorry, uh, we will be having a full Winter Xmas collection, which is a load of brand new stuff. Uh, uh, it's like a jumper, a long sleeve t-shirt, as well as gift items, which we haven't really done that much of before, which are really cute and really cool. Um, so keep an eye out on that. It's going to be the perfect kind of high rollers uh, D&D Christmas present for people that you want to get those for. Um, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, that was a very yeah. rushed thing, but yeah, keep an eye out. We got a lot of cool stuff coming. A limited time that the Eroist yes. like woodblock print shirt is going to be there. So if you want to get that one, you might want to pick it up soon because those yeah. ones are not going to be in when the winter stock yes. commences. Yeah, including you've got the Nova T-shirt. Uh, we've got all the Prime the stuff. Go. And Go and check out it all on our merch store, which I believe you can find linked um, either on Twitch, on High Rollers D&D, or on YouTube. You can find links to it everywhere. Um, grab our stuff. It's actually, again, another great way that you can support us, but get something for yourself as well, is grabbing some merch. Yeah, get something uh, nice. Get a nice treat get, for yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Yeah. yourself. Buy yourself uh, something pretty. Very last thing uh, that I'm just going to mention is the Chaos Twins, uh, which is our Tuesday video game stream with Tom and Ree. Uh, they are playing through Baldur's Gate at the moment with both myself and Trot joining them, and we're going to be keeping that up for a little bit of time, I think. Um, we're going to be playing yeah. through So if you're excited about Baldur's Gate yeah. 3, we certainly are. Um, come and check that out on Tuesdays, or check it out on the VODs or on YouTube as well. Um, so do yeah. that. There's uh, only been one episode so far, and it was a mess. Yes. So please watch that. Hot you mess. Catch up. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, and introduce yourself to us. Mr. Tom and the Sunshine Squad, I believe we called That's ourselves. That's what it is, yeah. Um, the greatest yeah. Tom is to not... ever brow. Tom is oh, not, I'm not Tom. Tom. No. I'm not Tom. <laughs> You'll meet Mr. No. Tom. Um, Mr. Tom is Tom anyway, entirely. <laughs> with that, uh, that's it from me. If there's anything else I need to mention, remind me. Follow us on no. Twitter. Make sure you don't miss any information. Yes, please. Thanks. There you go. Thanks, Tom. There we um, go. With that, let's run some dun-duns, and then I will do a recap. Last time on Erois. Having returned to Erois, the party head off in search of a nearby Tiangong Shard for Nova. They track the Shard to an island of frogmen who attempt to sacrifice the party to a frogmoth. But defeating the frogmen and the frogmoth is only the prelude to a greater danger. The island begins to break and fall apart and it is revealed to be the back of a giant dragon turtle. In rage, the dragon begins to thrash and dives underwater. And with a blast of steam breath, knocks out Quill, and Ayla, Lucius, Quill, and Sentry are left stranded in the water, waiting for their airship, the Storm Chaser, to rescue them. Nova uses Tiangong to dimension door to the airship, and then creates an arcane gate for her friends to escape through. But sadly, Lucius is bitten by the Dragon Turtle, and suffers a terrible critical injury, a pierced lung. Sentry manages to get Lucius onto the ship, and their medic, Greylano, is called, but things look desperate. As the party escapes the dragon turtle, they struggle to save Lucius's life. After a failed divine intervention, Quill produces a sequester scroll that they'd been saving and uses it to place Lucius in suspended animation until Nova can ritual cast a spell to save him. 
and that is pretty much where we ended last week's episode with all of you taking a long rest and during oh, that finally. long rest there are dreams oh quillick oh you feel wind smell the burnt air of lightning and thunder rumbles through your chest everything is a dark gray fog you feel no ground beneath your feet but you can sense broken earth destroyed villages around you sundered mountains and many many dead a light begins to appear in the gray haze a desperate faint blue and white light a form like that of a dragon that flickers briefly to become a man and then vanishes a spear takes its place its head is twisted in a spiral and three blue gemstones flickering with stormlight sit beneath its tip its haft is wrapped in loose cloth marked with runes that dances as if caught in a breeze but then you feel something else in the gray fog slithering things with red eyes their bodies covered in spikes and blades they hiss and shriek reaching for the spear a woman with iron wings flashes in the dark like a shadow created by a burst of lightning her face is cold and void of emotion but she smiles a thin red smile over snake-like fangs the spear pulses with power and suddenly all is white the gray fog the creatures the woman all blown away leaving behind only a man with angelic wings his hair has gone gray one of his eyes is now blind with cataracts but the other still sparkles sky blue he smiles softly as he turns towards you it's time quill you must mend what i broke save the one i could not and the dream ends ayla oh, in your dream you stand on the storm chaser's deck though it is empty you look out towards a wall of gray clouds and vicious storms the lightning cracks and thunder booms but it seems far away it seems almost to be listening to you what do you do what do you say oh who's there the lightning and the thunder rolls once more but no answer comes but then you see flashes see a flash a world of green fields and rugged rocks a house on the edge of the coast made of wood and shields painted in tartan colors hung above the door the trees nearby are huge and mighty the cliffs dangerously tall and imposing elves red and blonde haired with tattoos like your own spar by the house whilst children run through the woods laughing a bear cub ch playfully chasing after them there's a pause and then another flash the world is now dying the cliffs break away crumbling into a boiling ocean that has turned ink black like the void a terrible red light fills the air creatures of malign flesh and purpose shriek as they fight in the air the house is burning the shield of the tartan colors lies in the ground a broken hammer beside it above valkyrian ships fight the monsters as the ground begins to crack and shift around you collapsing in on itself there is another flash you stand on the storm chaser once more but it is not empty behind you 
stand your allies and friends, the ship's crew, and dozens of wild elves you have never met. Some wear your colors, some wear Valkyrian armor, but you know that they are not your foes. Another peal of thunder echoes from the thick wall of grey fog that stands before you. The storm calls. And the dream ends. Ah. The rest of you sleep soundly, although perhaps uh, still the previous day's events haunting your minds, but you complete a long rest. You wake aboard the Storm Chaser. Uh, what would you like to do? Oh. <clears throat> Man, did Lucia sleep soundly? <laughs> yeah. I think that <clears throat> through the exhaustion and the medicine being prescribed to him, Lucius does not dream. Uh, it is a relatively easy sleep. Um, you wake Out. up feeling a little sore in the chest, um, but yeah, otherwise fine. Complete. I think Sentry would go and check on like Lucius and Quill, just mm -hmm. make sure they're both okay. Yeah, yeah. I think um, when you come in, I'd, whether Lucius is awake, I leave to Trot, but Graylano is kind of tidying up the medic bay. Um, you can see that his chest uh, seems to be fine. There is still this terrible scar, uh, kind of you know the flesh has literally been ripped and torn apart around his uh, chest um, no amount of magical healing will reduce the scar but it's still there uh likewise for quill's face uh which still has this terrible scarring all down the side of it um but yeah they both appear to be fine yeah i feel like if you go and check on quill like i'm not even in the room like you find me stood in the room watching lucius uh mm. so when you go and check on him i'm already there um, okay. just to make sure, uh, it was close, Sentry, it was really close that time. Um, Too close. I mean, saved by a scroll that we almost got rid of, we almost threw it away. And what would that have meant? No Captain, no Lucius. Uh, what would the Storm would Chaser have, have been then? Would we? Hello? I'm just... Hello? <laughs> How you know, are you feeling? Are you both okay? Is he in my room? Uh, uh, are, are you okay? Um. Yes, I, I think so. Are you okay, Quill? Oh, this it stings. Yeah, it stings. But uh, I'll get used to it. I got used to it a lot worse. It's uh, your chest. I mean, they're scarring. Is there is there any pain? Is there anything we can do? Do you want us to get you anything? Yeah. I'll be okay. Uh, you know, we've been through a lot of scrapes, haven't we? Uh, nothing we can't walk off. Ho hopefully. Uh... Yeah. So anyway, uh, what's the next? What's the plan? Oh, uh, um, I mean, d do you want me to get everyone else, get Nova and Ayla in here? Orion, maybe? Uh, Lucius looks under his uh, mattress. <laughs> maybe we'll uh, get ready, <laughs> put some clothes on, and then oh. have a meeting in the, oh. in the uh, you know, captain's quarters or something like that. I don't know. Oh, Map room. okay, okay. If, if, if you're good to go up there, yes, yes, we can do that. Uh, Graylano is still in the room, the medic, the uh, sort of athletic half-orc woman, uh, turns around um, and she kind of nods in Lucy's direction like, yes, uh, the captain's fine to leave uh, for a while. <clears throat> do try and look after yourself, Lucius. Don't push yourself too much uh, in the next 24 hours. Um, after that, I think that the, most of the healing should be done. Um, the spell has taken care of any of the extreme dangers, but I do just want to keep an eye on you, so try to be uh, take it easy for the next day I appreciate that thank you very much is my door unlocked nowadays out of interest? This, well this I is just... the medic's chamber, you, you've been in the uh, like the medic's quarters, they took you here and oh, wait. basically <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> sorry I thought I was in my beddy. 
No, we had you yeah. brought here so I could keep an eye on you. But you're, I'm happy for you to sleep in your own chambers tonight. Uh, just wanted to keep an eye on you for the first night to make sure there was nothing uh, we didn't fix with the, the magic. Thank you. Thank you for your efforts. All of you. Uh, <clears throat> no easy sacrifice losing such a potent scroll like that. It was worth the cost. You would have done the same for all of us. I know you would have. You don't need to thank us. So. You thought quickly, and I appreciate that. Um, there was no hesitation. Greylano just kind of puts your clothes on the bed, or like whatever you weren't wearing, um, and then she'll head out and just say, like, perhaps we should give the captain a bit of privacy to change. Uh, uh, oh. Okay. As she says that, like, yeah. the door's gonna Nova's open. Nova's at the door. <laughs> Nova's gonna yes. stick her head around, and then it's seeing everybody awake. Whoa, <laughs> Just run over, <laughs> jump on the bed, oh, yeah, throw yeah, myself yeah, on you. <laughs> Greylano, like, goes to grab you to stop you, but misses. Like, she literally tries yeah. to grab you before you jump on I'm the bed. The, like, I'm Nova. missing the chest. Yeah. And just like, you know in like Lord of the Rings, when Frodo wakes up and all the hobbits are there, that. And they like, jump up on the bed. And then she's going to she's going to bounce on Quill as well and like hug Quill and be like, "Oh, oh, your face, your face is it okay? Are you okay? Uh, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Uh, are you okay? Are you okay? Sentry, are you okay? Wait, oh, is everybody okay? Everyone's okay. Wait, everyone's Ayla's, <laughs> everyone Ayla's is going to like okay. be the Aragorn in that scene and just like stand at the door Standing like Standing at the door. <laughs> yeah. Not even yeah. smiling. Yeah. Love it. I'm here, but I'm not gonna. Not doing the hugs. Yeah. 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 I I haven't. I'm pipping it up in this place. <laughs> I haven't had a bath. Um, I probably smell, but thank you. I don't care. Uh, I don't I'm very care. much awake now. I'm so happy. Uh, I'm so happy. Miss okay. Nova, I appreciate that you are excited to see the captain. Let us give the man a moment of privacy to get changed, perhaps wash himself in the basin, and then we can resume with the celebrations yes come all of you and she's yeah! starting to try to motion everybody out of the door like come on um, okay 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 i'm just okay. clucking around quill now i'm just like i'm like look i'm asking quill if he's around. when oh, are you okay are you does that hurt yep 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 no, yeah, well, a, a little it's getting better getting better when you are all outside when gray kind of gets everyone outside she will turn and say oh, captain there's a wash basin for you to clean yourself if you want and your clothes are all here just take a moment get ready she shuts Thank the you. door and then gestures to everyone else like i wanted to speak with you all privately away from the captain i am concerned of his mental state this was a very traumatic thing for lucius to go through i understand that you have all faced death and danger before Lucius, that would have been very traumatic. And we know that he is uh, from a, an environment that is not particularly hard. I want you all to keep a very close eye on him. Just make sure that he is in... That he does not dwell on what happened. He is back. He has opportunity in life ahead of him. But I am concerned. I'll keep an eye on him. I'll it keep an extra eye on him in case. I please do. Go. It may be that my concerns are unfounded, but it was a very difficult thing that he went through. This is no sword blow that is healed by magic. He was suffocating multiple times. We we don't know what effect this suspended animation had on him. Whilst was he still in pain? Was he aware of anything? Just watch him closely. And then she Thank will nod, me. and then she makes her way off uh, and leaves for you guys to meet up with Lucius afterwards. Okay, so next steps. Next steps. Uh, we have Quill. Tian Gong Shard. We, oh. I, I think after everything that's just happened, you and I, we have to have a conversation about this wing. We need to get this wing fixed. I, I just, I cannot deal with this anymore. I know we've been putting it off because we've had so many other things and I kind of left everything here when we went off into space, but we need to fix your wing. This needs to be done today. No questions. We're fixing it. Today? It's done. Okay. Yes. I mean, 
do, do you have what you need? Have you have you put I, the effort into the rest of the things? Is everything there? I don't know if I still know how to fly. I. I really think we need to keep Quill. moving towards the Valley of Storms. We can. I have a really we can bad find feeling. It on the ship, it's fine. We can find it on the ship. It's fine. Look, I calculated. I did the maths. I did the statistics. I calculated the. T I, I I did a kind of like scenario in my head. I ran the tacticians, and it's fine. If we all prepare, uh, and then I summon it, we can literally. Uh, uh, how can I say this delicately? <laughs> Subdue it uh, without it being able to do anything. Um, so uh, we'll be fine. And that's all I need is I need air elemental dust, and then I can compose the whole wing and quill. You are amazing. You're adaptable. You're intelligent. You're smart. You're quick. I know you have doubts, but I don't doubt you. And I know that you you worry about not being able to fly, but I saw you with the fly spell, and I think you'll be fine. And I can adjust things. I can make adjustments to make it easier and better and faster. I can do whatever you need. Okay. O okay. Yes. I mean, that sounds... Wonderful. I just don't want to let you down, Nova. You've put so much time into this, and if I can't... You will never, ever let me down. Okay. Uh, okay. Then let's, let's get the air stuff and put it on the wing? Is that what you said? I, I, I kind of tuned out with all the tech stuff, I'll be honest. Uh, I mean, I could show you all the technical diagrams, but, um, yes, Quill, let's put the air stuff on the wing, and you will fly. Well, okay, <laughs> Just throwing I mean, it out I mean... there that we are about to do something else that, uh, the crew have been quite probably traumatized from seeing their captain almost die. Quill is severely scarred is now the best time and you know that I like to beat the crap out of stuff like number one activity to do but shall we just calm for just like a day keep going <laughs> take it on board then nope. maybe take it off board to not traumatize the crew anymore I just wonder that they're a bit probably I think this crew might benefit for some occupational therapy they're all welcome to subdue it too. How do you subdue air, Nova? You know your hammer. Take your hammer. <laughs> whack. And what's to stop that from just pissing off the side of the flying ship that we are currently occupying? If we... I did the calculations. It's fine. I did the math. I ran the scenarios. I ran it all out. I kind of worked it all out. It's fine. If we all prepare to get a hit in, it it has no chance. Oh god, I feel really bad saying about that. It's fine. Okay. I okay. Uh, I mean, I think either way, the course should be set for Valley of Storms, right? Uh, and 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 yeah. maybe even figuring out how we can set up this 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 thing that that I saw in the vision, Ayla. Uh, if you know what I'm getting at. I think you've already that... had that built. You want to... Yeah, oh, well, yeah, I, yeah, I do. I know what you're getting at, but also I have a really bad feeling that things are worse now. Have you had anything else from Hesper? Anything yes, else that actually. might... Because well, I had this... a little bit of a... moment. Thinking about with who? things and stuff. Just in dreams. No, with, not with anyone. Just, you know, visions of terrible things happening. Uh, lots of my people yeah. around me. Then not there. Then you guys being there. And the storm. I feel like the storm is It's calling me there. But I just... I, I don't know what to expect when we get there. And I think that... So... I'm worried, Quill. That we've left this too long then we have to solve it as soon as possible. If, if if there's nothing we could have done, we couldn't have got there sooner. There was too much stuff in the way. And and if I can get rid of any fears, the dragon that I saw, I believe it's the spear that Hesper told us about. I saw it in the vision while turning into the spear. Um, so, I mean, it's not a dragon that's going to chase us and fight us the moment we, you know, get into the place. So there's that. I mean, yes, we saw... The dragon saw... is... 
It's, it's three gems, kind of got some runes, so a little bit a wispy. Tiny, tiny problem in the, the fact that the spear is a dragon. Quill. Oh, I mean, Nova's sword is an all-knowing intellectual powerhouse thing now. I mean, we carry around living weapons all the time. Correct. There you go. See? Thank you, Tian Gong. But still, Welcome. dragon. Dragon, dragon He's getting spear. Uh, nice. Highly unlikely. Hang on. Interesting. He said, Tiangong said more than one word at a time. Correct. Watch this. Good morning, Tiangong. How are you feeling today? Intelligence still difficult, but capable of more. Hello. Or uh, hello. Hello. Wow. Trot, by the way, feel free to just have Lucius be there. <laughs> Like, I'm assuming yeah. you got changed and probably came right out of the door. Point. Uh, <laughs> sure, just I just realized. <laughs> running up the rest of his uh, attire on his way in. Yeah. Um, well, washing his shoe. So, what's the plan? Valley of Storms. Valley of Storms. Right. So, how do we do that? We just fly in there and tie it to a, I don't a know. rod and... Absorb the lightning and... <sighs> I mean, honestly, there's not... I can I can somewhat take the lightning. Like, it, it doesn't hurt me as much as it would hurt you, but it still hurts. And I don't know if the storms are getting worse. I just, you know, if I pass out and stuff, I might really need you guys. And I'm all for, you know, taking one for the team, going down with this ship, quite literally, probably. But I have a concern around the fact well, look, that it's been a while. Me me and Sentry will be there at all times to 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 watch over you, to give you any healing you might need. S Sentry was yes. a spell pylon thing at one point as well, remember? And it, that got us an invisible ship. So I, if anyone can do I it, wonder you can. as well, Tiangong, you mentioned before that a huge amount of magic energy could heal you, could make you whole again. Would you be able to help Ayla maybe dissipate some of the lightning and channel it into yourself? Difficult to determine. Depending on Storm's nature, might not be magical. In addition, would be more like creating clone than repairing self. Hmm. Wait. Chen Kong's <laughs> saying more words now. Correct. <laughs> Captain Lucius. <laughs> Intelligence <Amazing>. has <laughs> increased 300%. 300? That's, a, that's so wow. many percents. It's an honor, Chen Kong. Thank you Lucius. all for assisting Nova. Yeah, I, I think was nothing say, of, of it. Of course. This is because of you. You see this bit in Tiangong, and I point at the gold streak. That's yeah. you. So now on the sword. That's you healing Tiangong. Uh, Lucius only glances at it and looks away again. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, let's focus on the task at hand. Yes. What is the plan? What's the, what's the plan from the team? Like, uh, are you just going to set sail for Mir's gear in the Valley of Storms? How far away is it? It's a great question. Quill, you estimate, um, I'm assuming you guys make your way up to the maps and, and begin plotting routes and things like that. You estimate your current location is you are in the sea between Giselle and Voxar, two continents. The Hawkstone Archipelago is also nearby. To reach mm. Mir's Gear um, and the Valley of Storms will take around about three to four days. Um, you're probably, uh, probably about two days kind of across sea and then you'll start getting close to the continent probably more like three days uh heading to if you wanted to head elsewhere obviously that is going to be longer but to get to mirsky in the valley of storms about three days um okay is how how long a detour would it be if we stopped somewhere to buy you know say some materials to cast like cure yeah. your injury again where would you like to go to pick those uh, materials up 
Uh, well, I guess Ware would have uh, 500 GP worth of rare oils powder made from crushed diamonds and mushrooms and a drop of liquid ethereum. I don't think Nova knows the answer to that question. I think that, you know, a major settlement, like a big city... Um, or a, a major trading post would have that. Uh, the nearest one you know, there are two ones I would say you would probably know nearby. It's Porta Sovrano, where you just came from, um, and Imixan, which is a big city in the continent of Giselle, but that's going the other way, away yeah, from Mirskia. That's quite a detour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I guess I'll share that with the group and say, I don't know if we want to consider I've already used up my ingredients to cast heal greater injury i don't know if this is something we want to consider going into the valley of the storms um being prepared you know in case um, and nova just kind of fades into awkward silence i mean the valley of storms is uh it does like to injure uh yeah it's always worth having the supplies we need to help each other well, um, it's about two days to Porto Sovrano, um, and then that you'd be kind of it'd probably add an extra day if you wanted to divert to Porto Sovrano, where you just came from. Um, I think Sentry just asked, like, how how urgent do you do you both as gesturing to Quill and Ayla? How urgent do you think traveling to the Valley of Storms is right now? It's something we've put off for a very long time. Um, it's something we should have done immediately. I feel uh, it's it was getting bad. A lot. It's okay. getting worse, much worse. Uh, then again, a day? I, I don't know. Um, There's I think no what point in us not being help. prepared to deal with the worst. I think Starbane, um, well, more to the point, Zarkira is. is planning something and giving her more time means worse situations in Mesca. Can you contact Johan? I can try. Maybe ask him what the situation is. Tell him that we're on our way. Yeah. Sure. You can cost sending. Stop it, Mike. He hasn't he hasn't reached out to us so let's see what's sending let's see if i can reach <laughs> him um yeah i will cast ascending and say clear skies we're on our way what is the situation in mirsk here is it safe okay this is the whole message yeah that's pretty much the entire thing i know he's only got 25 cool. word response so well you don't get a response there's no response from your hand you wait Time passes, no response. Ah. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, so spaghettios. <laughs> so um here's my suggestion. We go now. <laughs> we don't wait a day. We don't we don't delay any longer. A greater injury it's important, but something that could be solved later. I think we need to go okay. now. I'll do whatever I can to help. Anything. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh yeah. So just plot a course and head straight there. Is that the plan here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty Seems much. Well, like, okay. find like a a decent point to enter into Mirsky, right? Like instead of, you know, I mean, as decent as I can is, think. Mirsky is a, a coastal concept. Like you, you approaching really from anywhere is not really going to make a difference where you come in from. Um, the mountains are all yeah, on the other side of the Valley of the Storm, so you don't have to worry about passing over mountains or anything like that. You're coming in from the coast. You have three days, so assuming. Do you want to try and summon the air elemental on the ship and fight the air elemental on the ship? Do you want to do anything in three days? Cast any spells? Otherwise, we're going to race through them. Otherwise, we're just going to be like, bam, 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 think... three days go past. Yeah, I'd want I want to get to... this wing done. Sure, okay. Yeah, you can You can just basically, you know, even if it's, you don't necessarily have to do it on the airship, you will pass over small islands. There's not any people living on them. They're little bits of rock. Um, you could just, like, land nearby summon it on there and then fight it there or if you want you could summon it on the deck um 
It's up to you. Nova's up for doing it wherever, but leaves it up to the rest of the crew to argue over whether or not we summon it on the deck or like she's done the calculations. Mm -hmm. She's confident it's fine, and we can keep going. I mean, um, uh, if you've but... done the calculations, I'll do whatever you need. Whatever. What What was I doing in your calculations? I'll do that. Subduing it. <laughs> okay. Fighting it. Everyone's going to fight. Level six Cost guiding needs bolt. To be destroyed. Guiding bolt. Like yeah. literally, yeah. The top so... level guiding bolt. <laughs> the thing is, is. Uh, and uh, this is what Kim's referring to. So Nova, this is me speaking as Nova for a minute, if you don't mind, Kim. Nova's plan is that she will summon the air elemental whilst everybody, you guys, Araya, the crew, is stood around it with readied actions of when the elemental appears, I cast my most powerful spell. I attack it recklessly. I divine smite it at the top level I can. And because it's surprised, you'll all have advantage on your attack rolls, as will all the crew, as will Araya, I'm not even going to run the combat because I've I've done the maths, <laughs> and if yep. everybody does Told it, <laughs> even with even with bad rolls, you have advantage. This thing is going down. <laughs> like this thing yeah. doesn't yep, last nice. a single turn. It's dead. <laughs> like level six like going bolt, level six chromatic orb, ran two the from ran Ayla, the divine smites from Sentry. <laughs> All of the crew with longbows, Araya, Lantian, Howard, like everybody just like <laughs> throwing spots. That, yeah. that Howard just like with a frying pan, you know. Throwing a pot at it. <laughs> yeah, it, this thing will yeah. die. So they're no like, Nova, for the sake of speed, we'll say Nova convinces everybody. She's, and it just is, yeah, it is destroyed before it even has a chance to react. <laughs> Uh, this thing is destroyed. Um, this, the is it a scroll you got, wasn't it, Nova? It was a scroll of. It was a scroll, Lampel. yeah. Yeah. So the scroll yeah. burns. This kind of swirling torrent of air is summoned, and just <laughs> spells and hammers and swords like come in, tear this like thing apart, and it just it's a clash. It is reduced and down and to. It's reduced down to like a pile of uh, kind of glittering dust and a very small orb, like a almost like a pearl. Um, and Nova scoops that all up and then trundles back down to her workshop uh, to finish the wing. I'm assuming. <laughs> um, go on, Trot. Go on, Lucius. In the the heat of everyone just kicking off, and when it all settles and you got the orb, Lucius yeah. is gone. Okay. Okay. He looked like he took part. But then he's just not there in the circle of death. <laughs> okay. Sure. It's not a circle where of the... death. We subdued it. <laughs> uh, where, for for the DM's point of knowledge uh, and the audience's knowledge, where does Lucius go? He disappears to his quarters. Okay. Just quite shuts the door and uh, yeah, we don't see him. He, he okay. basically bails out on casting the spell and right, is okay. essentially an anxiety attack of some sort. Okay. That he's dealing with. Okay. Mm. Sure. So in the chaos, yeah. Uh, I think Quill would notice, though. Uh, if you can want to give me a stealth check for Lucius, but Quill's passive perception is I don't very, think very high. Yeah, I guess he would try and I... try and hide. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like I'd be, I would be, even with my massive passive perception, uh, my gorging massive perception, I think I'm too focused <laughs> on the air elemental. And oh, okay. like, when yeah. I see the orb, it's kind of like, you know that's flight for me, that's so I'm kind of too focused um, yeah. on that. Yeah, and as well, I was going to wait to see what Trot rolled because if Lucius rolled like a one, I'd still say yeah, Quill is still going to notice. But with a twenty stealth, and yeah. you would technically get a penalty because you are focused on a battle to your perception. Yeah, Lucius gets away without anyone <laughs> noticing, um, without anyone realizing. Cool. Um, mm. Yeah, Nova, it will take you probably two days. Um, so the wing will be finished just before you reach Mirskir. It, it will be reached sort of the day, the day before you actually arrive, or like a few, sort of like half a day before you arrive in Mirskir. Um, but and it's going to take up most of your time to work on. Um, mm -hmm. What about everyone else? Could I real quick do a divination? Sure. Um, Read it out. What's the spell? So, uh, so I have to sacrifice. Something appropriate to my religion worth 25 GP, but like it could be like a page from a Hesper book, or I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if, do you have a I, do you have a uh, do you have a Hesper book page worth 25 GP in your inventory? I have a sequester scroll, which I should remove from my inventory. Um, yes, yeah. Yep. Yep. 
What did I tell you, Thomas Hazel, about spell components with a cost? I said if you want to cast them from now on, you have to have them. He how said no more Mr. Say, nice DM. How much would you say <laughs> a uh, feather from my wing would be? Nothing. It's worth zero. <laughs> what about like 20 of Paint them? Paint it gold for you. No. No, absolutely not. You've got like a gold it. holy symbol worth 25 GP to Hesper. 100%. You've got 25 what? GP of rare incense. Sure, go for it. What, what you what, got? What would it be like in, if, if I wanted to gather material for this, right? This spell, like if I yeah. were to buy it, what would I buy? I don't. I, I think that's where I'm confused. What does it say? An item it, it or object says... worth 25 gold, dedicated to your god. Yeah. So there you go. Like, that's your answer. 25 gold feathers. <laughs> like 25 gold no. bird corp. Like. <laughs> You know, like little, a, a, a little thingy. silver statuette or a holy symbol or yeah. uh, a prayer book worth 25 gold. You know, something like that. Like, you have to have a thing. Now, if you've got something in your inventory, something, you know, that is worth some money that is connected to you in some way, yes. Feathers from your body, no. Things like <laughs> if you had a spyglass. <laughs> spyglass is worth like a thousand gold. That could be used. Uh, it's a but bit excessive. Right. Uh, use... <laughs> how, much, how much is a featherfall token worth? That was quite a lot. Uh, that would do. I would no. I would say that that would work. It is worth. I, I think they're worth gold. like a hundred gold or something. I think I charge for them. That would work. Um, it's. I'd, I'd say about, that that's connected enough to sky and air that it would it would count. What about a scroll of identify first level? Yes, he's the god of magic. I'd say again, you could you could make a you'd have to do like a little ritual to be like oh i bless this scroll in hesper's name this is now the scroll of hesper <laughs> but like, now like, I sacrifice like i'm it. arguing with the gods like yeah it's to do with you because knowledge you know and spells no it's just you have to connect it to hesper in some way so performing yeah, yeah, like yeah. a small rite to kind of bond it to hesper is is enough um yeah i'm I'll actually gonna get your inventory in i'm gonna look at your inventory right now and just see if you've got some <laughs> also does the spell say it consumes the item it does yeah Okay, it does. Your quarter um, staff, your profits quarter staff, that would count. Um, yeah, but I like cartography that tools. Nowhere, you know. Yeah, no, sure. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, okay. the scroll of uh, of uh, whatever it was, identify. I've I've got yeah. like the components to cast the that ritually anyway, so I don't really need it. Um, sure. So yeah, I'll do that. And I want to ask. Okay. Uh, does Johan meet us? In the Valley of Storms. And what does the spell say? Is it like a yes, no cryptic answer or is it a... Ask a single question concerning a specific goal, event or activity to occur within seven days and you offer a truthful mm -hmm. reply. The reply might be a short phrase, a cryptic rhyme or an omen. Ah, excellent. Okay. So you perform a small ritual on the deck of the Storm Chaser, uh, painting on runes of Hesper to the ends of these scrolls and kind of consecrating it in Hesper's name. And then you channel the energy of this divination spell and you watch as the scroll turns to spectral feathers and is pulled up and picked up by the wind, scattering to the sky. You hear Hesper's voice carried on winds, whispering through her ears from very, very far away. The spirit of the storm will meet you past the great wall. Okay, cool. That, that works for me. That works for me. Sure. Just want to make sure he's not, you know, toast. No. Um, <laughs> and if in the future it might be worth when you are a big city going and mining, like, you know, some small statuettes or like symbols of, of Hesper for such a spell in the future. Little action figures of Hesper. Sure. Anything you like, <laughs> as long as it's worth 25 nice. gold. Uh, nice. <laughs> I did. I told you guys. I was like, I'm gonna crack down on this stuff. Uh, <laughs> I'll buy some uh, like sheep jewelry from Hot Topic. That's just feather necklaces and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, fine. Yeah. As long as it's worth 25 GP, <laughs> I don't feather care. Charms. Um, yeah. yeah, and as long as it's in your inventory as well. Uh, cool. All right. Uh, anything from anybody else? Um, um I think Ayla days. would. Uh, we'll do Ayla, then probably... we'll do Sentry. I think Ayla would probably try, she would probably communicate just to Quill what her dream mm -hmm. was. I don't think she'd communicate it to everyone because she feels like Quill kind of understands those kind of mm -hmm. dreamy type things. And she would let him know everything that she had heard and the, the visions of like 
the uh, her village being destroyed and um uh people in valkyrian armor and other elves that are wearing my tartan behind me and the storm calling she'd probably explain all of that to quill and try and see what he thought that meant because in her head she's just a bit worried that it's a terrible omen but also confused if there's anything else she should be doing mm. like do you, should Very should much. i be should i be gathering people should i where do i find them do i need help for this uh it's it's a i, I can i can i can use my eye if if you want me to use the eye of the storm i i don't know maybe maybe when when the magical ish lightning is coursing through you maybe it will unlock memories maybe that's what it's linked to maybe maybe it will be something akin to alfheim i assume is what it was i think that i think i need to gather allies not maybe not for this but just in general i think i i need to the wild elves need to gather they need to rise against him they'll listen to you if, if if you're from this clan of of so much more power than theirs why would they and listen that's what to it me sounds like why would they listen to me i'm just i uh, just a, a random elf the same as they are i've there's nothing special about me there's so much special about you are you kidding no you know, there's have i have a power the but... lightning a yeah, hammer? but like you're in this. But there are other elves who have those t- powers. There are other that we've seen them. Why would I be the one who they would care about? I'm, I don't even like talking to people. People suck. They don't need uh. someone to talk to. They need someone to lead them. If anyone can, it's you. No, that's someone like Sentry can lead the guardians. That's something like. That I'm not. I I'm just. I just hit things and hope for the best. That's that's why I do. The wild elves look. I can't straight. lead. I can't lead a big pack of people. Ugh. People. Maybe not right now, but maybe one day. Maybe one day you'll have to. Ugh. Like yeah, that's more scary than questions. like. That's more scary than like being hit by a whole bunch of lightning. I think I prefer to just die that way. <laughs> we won't let that happen. Me and Sentry uh, won't. Uh, Speaking of Sentry, Sentry, is there something you wanted to? Sentry wants to go to speak to Grey Lano, try and mm-hmm. try and get as much medical knowledge from her as she can, um, okay. especially about like, or, like spend some time like training and stuff. Yeah, and learning about like human, like humanoid anatomy and all that stuff, and like learning what things uh. do. Okay. She's, she's, she's prepared for a young child, but she's never had to do anything, I guess, kind of surgical and like too intense. There's always been other people to do that for her. Ah, uh, I get you. Um, is Sentry already proficient in medicine as a skill? Uh, let's have a look. I have a plus two in medicine. But you're not proficient in it. I don't think so. No. That's fine. No. So it will take um. So you sit down with Greylano and. And I was like, yes, of, of course, Sentry, it'd be useful to have... I know that Quillock can heal with magic, as can you, but sometimes uh, we cannot heal everything through magic. Magic is good at restoring energy, um, sealing minor wounds, um, dealing with infections, but sometimes injuries are more complicated than that. I can show, begin to show you what I know, but I don't think we'll have time to complete your training before you reach your destination. It will take us perhaps a week, um, perhaps slightly longer, to fully train you in medicine. Um, but I can definitely give you some things, and I can begin to train you a little bit. Um, yes, I, I think that that is definitely something we can do. It, it will be hard. It, this is knowledge that I've I've gained over many many years. Uh, but I can I think I can speed track you through through a, th- a few things, teach you how to sew to sew a wound or deal with a. Uh, damaged organ for a little while combined Thank with you your own me. natural healing magic I, th- I think that you should be able to deal with most things watching you help lucius it's, it was amazing uh, it was terrifying was but it was able... amazing i wish only that uh, uh, that i was able to do more I, I feel that 
my own knowledge was lacking there. All I could do was give him brief moments to breathe, but I think I've, I think I've been studying a way to help with that more. If something like that happens again, I think that perhaps next time I'll be able to deal with it a little bit better. Um, but yes. Well, let's um, begin your training. Uh, and, uh, let's begin over here, and she takes you over to the thing. And yeah, over the next couple of days, century, you're going to be preoccupied with Greylano. But uh, what we'll do is it will take you a week to become proficient in the skill. Um, so what's your current proficiency bonus as century? Um, let's have a look. It should be at the top of your sheet. Uh, what would that be? In Profi It's just called proficiency bonus, I think. It's normally a round initiative. There's like a little box for it. Oh, plus four, there it is. Plus four. Okay, so in a couple of days, we'll say that you get to add half of your proficiency, so plus two to uh, okay. medicine checks, and then when you complete cool. the training, you'll get the full proficiency in the skill. Um, awesome. So, yeah, just do a manual extra plus two for now, but then when you complete it, take that plus two off and mark it as proficient, um, and we'll figure a way to do that Ooh. on the character sheet. But yeah, you've got an extra plus two to medicine. Um, and yeah, that's that's how we'll run it, basically, is you representing, you practicing and learning with Greylano um, this new skill uh, to try and become almost like a field medic. Like, you're kind of learning, like, yeah. really basic, I just need to slap this together and then we'll magically heal it later. Like, I just need to stop the internal bleeding or whatever and blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah. But that's going to take, like, three days, like, to do. So that's cool. you pretty much preoccupied. Um, awesome. And then, yeah, I think that that basically puts Sentry and Nova out of the equation for now. Lucius, Trot, what? How does Lucius? Does Lucius recover from the attack? Like, does he come out like a like a little bit later on, or does he? You know, what was Lucius up to over the next few days? Um, it's he seems to be going about his duties as normal. Okay. From so, it just seems there. like nothing's changed. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, he looks a little like more tired than normal, as if he's got disturbed sleeps over the next few days. Okay. Uh, disturbed trances, <laughs> I guess. Sure. I think that over the next few days, you know, you interact with the crew. Uh, Faith sticks to you very closely uh, after your traumatic experience, and she's just chatting, telling you about things that you missed whilst you were in astral space, kind of talking to you about the things that you got up to, kind of just tries to keep your mind off things by kind of just focusing on everyday stuff you know like when somebody's just they're just talking at you to make you feel a bit more comfortable you know they're not expecting you to listen or engage they're just kind of filling the air around you as a distraction she kind of focuses on that mainly that 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 seems to help a lot with lucius yeah for sure uh the one person who does notice something a bit more in fact i didn't actually roll for howard and lancian either uh yeah the, the only, there's only one person who seems to really pick up that something's up and i think it's kamara kamara uh notices a few things doesn't didn't notice you um fleeing the battle against the air elemental but definitely picks up on something being a bit wrong uh and at some point uh will grab you when you're not alone but sort of like when there's not really anybody else around and just kind of give you a hard look and be like <clears throat> how are you holding up captain since uh the escape from the island Oh, uh, fine. Thank you. Uh, anything to report? No, everything's proceeding as normal. The crew actually seem to be in very good spirits, I think. I think uh, escaping from that thing, but also more importantly, seeing Quillek and Nova save you has done a lot for their morale. There's... They've grown quite attached to you, I must say, uh, against my own better judgment. I try and encourage them not to get too attached to individual captains. We tend to work for many different ones but they like you a lot well that's that's great to hear uh, I'm, I'm glad morale is high it is it is uh, can't imagine something like that was particularly easy uh, she just looks at you uh, he seems to shuffle on the spot a lot mm. uh, avoiding eye contact yeah it, it wasn't no um, but we dealt with it uh, everyone was strong and uh, we overcame it so that's that's where we are now. Mm. I'm I'm glad to hear it. You know, I'm not one for telling many stories, but uh, uh, the wolf pack has been with me for a long time. It was a uh, one of our youngest. Uh, we got into a fight with a group of sky pirates. It was a vicious one. 
It was an old trading airship. They didn't have much in the way of weapons or armor. They were just merchants, really, and these pirates knew it. They came with, uh, they came with crossbows and weapons, and they boarded us. We fought them off, but it was a really tough fight. And the younger ones, they hadn't seen anything like that before. There was a lot of blood, a lot of death. One of them, a young, young beast walker called Finn, he didn't really recover from it couldn't hold the blade anymore it would make his paw tremble and ear twitch sometimes we can't forget things that happen to us but he made the mistake of not telling anyone he ran away left at the next port we didn't see him leave we didn't see him go because if he had I would have talked to him I would have helped him don't just because you're the captain doesn't mean you have to keep everything locked up inside. They care about you, not just the crew, but your own friends. If you need help, just ask. And she gives you a nod and then is happy to turn away and leave. In a very motherly sort of, I've given my, I've said my piece and I will now leave unless you want to talk. Uh, he seems to just nod. Lucius, mm-hmm. uh, kind of as graceful as he can. I think as Kamara walks away, he kind of is, is almost like he's been holding his breath that entire time, and just mm-hmm. has a bit of uh, excessive breathing for a bit, and then he just yeah. kind of stiffens up and then walks in the opposite direction. Sure, cool. Uh, anything from anyone else? Or we are going to jump ahead a few days to the wing being completed. I think that. Um... Ayla is just going to maybe spend Mm -hmm. the next few days just sort of um, maybe going up the mast and just looking out over where they're going and Mm. just trying to sort of feel the weather around her and just connect a little bit to to Mm. the wind and and just spend some time being on her own and and sort of thinking about that sort of getting herself mentally in that area where she can sort of sense things it's up to you whether you want to dismiss them, but uh, look out. The Guardian is always up there. That's his position. But if you want to, he'll just leave. If you say, ah, oh, I'll take over for a bit, he'll just scuttle down and leave you on your own. Um, make a survival check for me. Just make a just roll a d20 and then survival check. I'm interested. He's going to fall off the ship. <laughs> 18. 18. The weather's changing. You can tell it's far off, it's far away, but there's... And it's not that you know it because of things that you can see or smell or hear. It's a feeling deep in your chest. The storm's bad. You can tell, even this far out. The wind is growing stronger, very slightly, but it's changing. It's getting more intense. The air feels more pressurized. The closer and closer you get to Mirskir, you can feel the power coming from that place, for sure. I think she'll probably um, do this a a few times during each day. And then also, uh, so she'll probably dismiss Lancian for those periods when she's up there. Um, Then uh, just to be alone and really focus. And then she'll probably keep quill updated just with how it's going as we move closer yeah just as someone else to sort of i guess vent to and just lean on and just make him aware of the situation because he he knows the value of storms yeah yeah there's a connection like it's it's the two of you are being pulled to this place him more directly than you but there is definitely something there pulling the both of you towards it however After a few days, Nova emerges from her workshop covered in oil and smudge stains and magical dust, uh, carrying a apparatus, a mixture of metal frame, leather uh, in place of feathers and wings, um, Magitech uh, built into it. it? Go on, sure, yeah, go for it. Yeah. I didn't realize you had a description in um... place. Yeah, I had an idea in mind. So yeah, it's made out of um, leather and the metal that's um, part of it um, has been tempered so it's incredibly thin and lightweight. The whole idea that she's had in mind in trying to create it is basically create a wing that looks 
as close to Quill's natural colors as possible. Um, and she's tried to disguise, she's tried to make the, the wing, like the feathery part, look as natural as possible. Um, the harn it has a harness that fits over the side of, uh, of his missing wing um, mm -hmm. that attaches to the front. And so he can control it from the front. Um, and there's all kinds of like counterweights and counterbalances, like I'm sure you've seen How to Train Your Dragon, um, mm. so that he can um, control it from the front um, to create like counterbalances so that it is as natural as possible. Um, mm. There is like a kind of, the closer it is to the shoulder, there is kind of more mechanical parts to it that she hasn't quite been able to cover. But mm. at a glance, it should look as natural as she's been able to make it. And it does yeah. shimmer with a slight light as well. Um, yeah. I kind of, I found like a, a vague image um, that I've put in the uh, roll 20. So a bit more, a bit more natural than this. And obviously in Quill's wing colors, so the browns and the whites. Um, but yeah, I think that's what she, her intention was the whole time she wanted to make it look as close to Quill as she physically could. And it's easy for him to operate as she can. Um, oh, cool. That's kind of what I have in mind. Nice. Very cogsy, very feathery. Very cool. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and things like the leather could be dyed to match the colors. So when you had the leather working done, it's all been sort of dyed to kind of give this uh, effect that matches Quill's own wing pattern and things like that. Um, yeah. Uh, and yeah, you, Quill, like, Nova's going to have to fit you, fit you into it the first time. Like, do we see that? Is this happening up on deck? I mean, like, I feel like the moment I see Nova walking out, I, there's a mm. part of me that's like, if, if I'm like behind a mast or something, I almost mm. am tempted to sink away into that. So if she doesn't see mm. me or, or that I can sneak away and almost delay it as long as I can. But the moment she like locks eyes with me, I just slowly Ayla's walk just up. up on the mask going, Hey Quill, hey Quill, Nova's there with a wing. Hey Quill, uh, hey, okay. hey. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you. Thank Quill. You, Ayla. Quill, can you hear me? You I see the, 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 the crew is starting to like, the, as Ayla's calling out, like the crew is kind of like, hey, what's going on? Like, oh, what's, what's, what's Miss Nova carrying? Ah, oh, Howard's just like, oh, what's that? And like everyone's starting. There's a crowd gathering for sure. I'm really slowly walking up. <laughs> Nova, is it? Hey, Quill. Complete. Uh, I think I'm almost. I'm almost done. Are Are you okay to do this here? Uh, I I I I don't know. Like, uh, how do you want to do this? I I don't I don't I don't I don't know, Nova. Um, we can fit it. I can tell everyone to piss off. Somewhere. Yeah. About that, I'll everyone else starts looking piss away. Off. Everyone, fuck off. <laughs> they will start. Everyone starts clearing the deck. Uh, I think the only people left up In there the would be Arya. In the nicest Araya. way. Thanks. Arya yeah, will call uh... out. That might also count for you, Miss Ayla. Perhaps you should also fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I'm staying up here. I'm looking ahead. Just don't sure. mind me. Okay. What, what, what do you need to do? What do you, where, where do you need me? How, how? Okay, so all I need is uh, if you could just uh, push your cloak back. I can attach it here. Uh, so this strap does this, this strap does this. This is a counterbalance and this is... And she gives like a kind of rush explanation. And then she, she'll kind of rush it, but then she'll be like... She'll catch herself and then... Look, I know this is a big thing and I kind of realized I sort of maybe bulldozed you a little bit about this. And, and I, I'm really sorry about that. I think it's just... I. It just look you trusted me when the whole thing with the ILS happened and I don't know how to repay you and this was the only way I could think of you know using the big old smarts and um, I, I studied thermodynamics a lot and look you're not gonna let me down whatever happens you don't have to use this you can just keep it if you don't like it you know, just keep it. It's fine. If you want me to take it away and burn it, I'll take it away and burn it. Um, but, you know, and, and, and if you use it and there's anything that you need, like adjustments or, you know, something, uh, that's fine. I can do whatever you need, Quill. Whatever you need, I can do it. Okay? This is you. I, if, I won't be offended. Okay. 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 Um, so, so cloak, right? <laughs> 
Yeah. Like, uh, the, like if I, the, start... the instruction that came from that. Yeah. <laughs> so if I like am slowly moving it back, like my my hand is shaking, like even like my jaw is kind of like kind of almost Trembling. quivering in a way, yeah. like just the ent my entire body is just shaking and like slow movements and heavy Does it breathing. Look like and... quite a heavy piece of apparatus, like or I mean, it, it, I think it's big... Ayla might come down and just while Nova's trying to do things, just just hold, hold it, it for you, but also <clears throat> probably just put a hand on Quill's other shoulder and just gently well, I encourage him. I, I think that it would look heavy, right, Kim? But actually, when Ayla touches yeah. it, you realize it's incredibly light. Like the magic yeah. of this yeah. air elemental has rendered it near weightless it, it is it's as light yeah. as a bird's wing you know it feels even though yeah. it's made of metal and leather it feels like it will barely you know uh taken yeah. down nova um, will have will have tried to make it as natural as quill's existing wing so it's the same size the same shape but yeah as light as possible for him so it's comfortable and as light as possible one question I had for Tom, as Quill is pulling up the cloak, do we see like the, the scarred remnants of where his arm was, where the lightning basically would have burnt all of that side of his body? Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if, if the space needs to be... I mean, I guess with this wing being put on, I guess the cloak would have to be yeah, removed, I suppose. Like fully like pulled up, you know, up and so that the whole shoulder joint is visible, yeah. Um, I guess I guess it needs to go... Somewhere around here, the first of many scars, I guess. Yeah, you see it all kind of burn. Like but yeah, Nova, go on. No reaction no. from Nova. Nova's just still got her smile on her face. Just, you know, yeah, okay. Uh, accounted for this. So if I strap this here and strap this here. Straps kind of feel all over your body and it's comfortable. Like, you barely notice the weight. Um, it's weird. It's almost... It's been a long time since you felt the weight of a wing on that side. It feels... It's alien, but at the same time, almost like you've always had that feeling there. The kind of phantom limb that's always been in that space, even in your mind, that kind of knowledge of that something used to be there. It's now suddenly filled and something is there. Uh, and as you kind of flex and move, uh, the careful design of the mechanics, but also the Magitek built into it, it kind of seems to attune and blend in with your nervous system. Uh, Quill, I would like you to add Magitech Wing to your inventory and mark it as attuned. Magitech Wing, wonderful. Okay. Uh, oh, good. I do have I do have a space for it. That's good. Mm -hmm. yeah, you have to <laughs> unattune attune something, but because this is a prosthetic, so there is a couple of things with this. One. Only you and Nova can remove this item. Like, nobody can forcibly take this wing off you. Now, obviously, a critical injury could damage it, um, but nobody can, like, rip it off of you or anything like that. That's part of the magic that's built into it. But as you stretch it and as it connects with that nervous system and you form this magical bond with this wing, it is like having an arm and a hand again. It is exactly... It has replaced oh, have... the wing perfectly. Yes. Well, it's full limb control as well. Well, not if, just you, if, if Nova's light. designed it to mirror your other wing, which means it has the hand, it has like a mechanical hand built into it as well. This is a, a prosthetic limb. It's it's a full, fully functioning arm and wing back. And your so fly speed is restored. Can I, can I feel any like magical energy going through it? Can I cast spells with it is what I'm asking. <laughs> it is, it is <laughs> as if it were your own hand and limb. Oh my god! After um, two years, he can fly. Yeah, like I'm. I guess I'm moving around very awkwardly. <laughs> like at one point, it kind of shoots out a little bit too far, and it's like, oh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, bring it back slowly. <laughs> kind of like if it like controlling a machine, right? Uh, in a way. I mean, it's um, kind of like in your head. It's almost like um, you have to get used to the idea of like you realize that your subconscious is kind of sending messages to this hand without you thinking. Like you're kind of like now move up, now move down. But actually, you don't need to do that. Like when you stop thinking, that's what I mean. it kind of like the fingers stretch as if somebody was just like you were like, oh, I'm going to stretch my arm a little bit. That as the wind catches the leather feathers, it almost like you reflexively are like, oh, you kind of stretch it out to catch the wind as it connects in with all of the the feathers and you feel that that lift 
Okay, in that case, like, I guess we're on the top deck of the ship, right? Like, I want to walk to the front, like, towards yeah. the masthead, and I'm kind of, like, looking out, like, my real wing is catching the wind, and then I bring out the other one to let that catch the wind. And then I just sort of stand there for, like, way too long, like... And then, like, like everything is. starts to shake. And it's like... Nova, I don't know how. Yeah, he does. Nova? You... You do. Quill... You do. Hey, um... Can I just show you one more thing? Just between you and us? And yeah. I lift up, so the strap... Where the strap overlaps across his chest. Kind of probably near his heart. I lift it up, and there's an emblem stamped into the leather. And it's the... It's an outline of the Storm Chaser. And I say... I didn't really know. I thought for ages. I didn't really know. I wanted something that represented all of us. But stamping five people's emblems kind of takes up a lot of the leather. So I thought, the Storm Chaser, right? Kind of represents all of us in the family we've made together here. You and I, you could have, you trusted me. You didn't have to, but you trusted me. And yeah. You gave me a second chance. You've got this. I know you do. I think I like slowly like bring the wings down, turn around, and like there's just tears in his eyes. Thank you, Nova. I This is more than I could have ever asked for. And I'll hug her with the new wing as well. And then as I Perhaps so back, as I as I release from the hug, I'll then like fall on the front of the ship. <laughs> There's a moment, Quill, where the heart races. You feel air rushing around. You can't almost suppress that panic of I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. And then there's also memory attached to it. You remember those first flying lessons with your brothers and your sisters at the Academy, Messenger Guild. You remember you remember you fell off the messenger tower in Mears gear in the same way. You were confident. You were so confident and bold. You, you let yourself fall backwards to show off in front of everybody else. And then you span and caught the wind and sailed towards the valley. And again, now, with one breath, you spin, the wind fills, and you feel it connect with the wings, and whoosh, you are gliding. And you are flying. Oh, man. I'm like, yeah, I guess for when it catches in, like I launch back along the side of the ship and like go over the top, underneath, try and spin. And I guess like at, at one point, do I see like the Valley of Storm in the distance? So as all of this is happening, it's, you know, taken some time to get all this ready uh yes you do and in fact everybody does now in the when i see a peal of thunder mm -hmm. can I, I i'm almost wondering if i can resist some kind of check right <laughs> like sure like if i'm seeing the so, thunder in the distance the same thing yeah let me uh so make a make a wisdom saving throw which is your basic kind of against being frightened saving throw. Okay. Uh, 16. Yeah. So everybody, including yourself, Quill, in the distance, you can barely see the continent of Voxar anymore. In its place, like an enormous, impossible wall, is a dark grey fog that fills the space. It blocks out all sight of land, mountain, civilization. Lightning, almost dark purple in color, flashes in the fog, and a peal of thunder ripples through the air. Quill, you feel yourself kind of lurch and panic, but you manage to kind of keep hold of your senses away from becoming frightened or letting go of your flight. Um, you can make your way back down onto the deck of the Storm Chaser if you want to as everyone else is kind of staring out towards it. 
everyone else, you also notice that on the sea below, great waves churn and roil around the coast of Mirskir, as several dozen orc ships make haste away from the land. Each ship is packed with citizens of Mirskir carrying belongings, whatever they could carry. Dozens of them, perhaps hundreds, uh, all fleeing this land that is now completely enshrouded in this thick grey storm. And that's where we'll take a break and we will come oh. back in a few minutes. Oh, what an incredible oh. moment. Holy oh, crap. I can Damn. Fly. Very fly. fucking cool moment. Yes. Oh, two whole years, two whole dang years of not flying. You got it, oh. baby. You got so it. Cool. Not just flying, but like a whole new whole new arm. Whole new arm for you. Yeah, I didn't expect that at all. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Nova worked hard. She said it was an exact copy of your others of your other <sighs> other limb. So yeah, it's the hand too. Oh um, man. So cool. So dang cool. We, Thank you, Kim. We're gonna take Thank you. five we're gonna take <laughs> no, five pee, minutes pee, pee. <laughs> to grab a drink, to play some ads, and to read out some messages, and then we will be back as you yeah. enter. The storm. Oh god. Uh, oh god. <laughs> There's a lot of <sighs> I mean, going on. Yep. There's, uh, there's been like <laughs> there's been like four too many good things that have happened, you know? Uh and I think it's time mm. we enter the storm and, and lose it all. Tron, would you do you do you agree yeah, with that Stephen Tron? Tron? <laughs> yeah, I mean this episode. I mean oh, this, this episode, episode. like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. I feel like it's a nice kind of mirroring of like, do you remember Tom when we had that episode when like the, the ILS episode and we had that big like conflict and argument and how tense that was? I feel like we've kind of come full circle in that now we've had an actual nice like moment. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, right. man! <laughs> go grab a drink. Uh, grab a break if you need one. I might go grab a packet of crisps. I'm super hungry. <laughs> so I'll be back in like a few so. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I will read the donations. Uh, so let me just scroll all the way down. We've got a donation from Nightjar that says, "Just testing this for Marvelous1767." I don't want to give you nerds any money. Ew. Well, there you go. It worked. Um, Callum H. Literally just finished the last episode, and I'm still in tears. Time to carry on the adventure. Thank you for all you guys do, especially Kim with End the Virus of Racism. Wing boy. Um, yes, yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, last week we had a, a push for End the Virus of Racism as well. So thank you, everyone, for supporting that last week as well. Marvel Lewis, uh, now that the uh, donation reader has been tested, there he is. It's my birthday today, and here's a small token of my appreciation. You guys brighten up my day. Smile, smile. Well, happy birthday, Marvel Lewis. Um, I hope you have a great day. Um, thank you very much for the donation as well. You didn't have to do that on your birthday. Um, Cam Yeoman, uh, started Lightfall episode one at the start of the pandemic, and now I'm here. Wait, all the way through Lightfall and a rose? Oh my god. Could you please wish my dear no Noel a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Noel. Um, she has been watching for years and introduced me to high rolls. Well, thank you very much, Noel, and happy birthday. And thank you very much, Cam Young Mun, as well. Um Natalie Hawthorne, been having a real hectic month, so I haven't had much time to watch anything but Eroes live. And even then, I can sometimes only watch half. But you're all still great. That you're all still a great spot of brightness in a somewhat dark time. Thank you very much, Natalie Hawthorne. I hope things are okay for you and not too busy. Um, Jade Peregrine, Mark, Kim, Trot, Katie, Tom, and Rhiannon, you all individually inspire me and brighten my life, not just with your characters, but with your wonderful selves as well. I wish you all peace and happiness in your lives. Thank you for sharing your joys with us. Jade. Thank you very much, Jade. What a wonderful message. It's very, very nice. Thank you. Um, Marvel Tiger with a quarter hundo. It has been a rough week, and High Rollers has been uh, my main go-to for keeping my sanity. Thank you all for taking us on this wonderful adventure. Well, thank you very much, Marvel Tiger, for the generous donation. And again, I hope all is well for you. Um, 
Jilly2272 with £130, sorry, $130. Uh, thank you very much. So over hundo. Um, I've been watching you guys since the beginning, but I've never been able to donate. High Rollers has become such an important part of my life and has gotten me through some very dark times. I can't begin to thank you enough. Roll high, grow strong. There you go. Roll high, grow strong. Just like that Good shirt lad. on the merch store. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you very much, Jilly2272, for the very, very generous donation. And again, for the lovely messages. Man, a lot of, a lot of love here. A lot of love. What's going on? A lot of love. Call me a, call me a dick or something. Um, dick. Scrappy Coco no. 29 Don't mind me. I'm just over here crying while Mark gives me and Lucius some words of wisdom through the mouth of Kamara. Yeah, that was great. That was really, really great. Um, I honestly needed to hear that. I love you all so much. There you go. Yeah. Wise words from Kamara slash Mark. Mainly Kamara. <laughs> also Mark. Um, <laughs> Wolfie Kamarka. Kid of Doom. Kamara. Quill accepting Kamarka. the wing and taking flight again <laughs> made me cry harder than any other moment thus far. Even the deaths. How could you make me feel such things? Thank you all. Uh, man, yeah, that was, a, that was a big, big moment for Quill. Big, big moment. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And I'll be honest. I was on the edge of being like, take no. the wing off again. I, this isn't what this isn't going to work. And just like all that time and effort, just like throwing it to the side. Like I can't do it yet. I can't do it yet. But no, no, no one would it, have understood. No one would yeah. have understood. Will is big, strong fly boy now. He's strong. He's smart. He's clever. Uh, he fly. He flighty boy. One thing I'm going to make your strength doesn't change. Your body is still, you know, yeah. weak from not having the arm. But so your strength yeah. doesn't change, but you can fly and stuff. Um, I can't remember what the you... base Aracocra flight speed is, but it's whatever it is normally. So, um. mm -hmm. yeah, I need to find out. I feel sure. like it's 60. It should be on your character sheet already because I don't think we could take it off. So it should be. Okay, I couldn't find a way to remove it. Oh, 50 feet. There you go. Okay. Yeah, nice. Um, we were good. We want to start again. Do we want to get back in? I'm just going to... Sorry, I was reading all of those. I will let Trot eat some more because I'm going to go grab a drink real quick. Sorry. Okay, no, that's fine. I am going to take a moment to once again remind you uh, a big thank you to our sponsor, d, &D Beyond, uh, who sponsored this episode. You can go... If you check out the link in chat or in the video description right now, um, which is going to appear now uh, in the chat, uh, d, &D Beyond dot link forward slash avre a v r a e uh if you go and check out that link uh it massively not only supports us but you can check out the awesome avre bot uh for discord made for D, D beyond as well you can check that out uh and that's in the video description as well and big thank you once again to D, &D beyond uh for the sponsorship uh and then the other one is we do have some more merch coming out we mentioned this at the start of the episode we got some cool merch <laughs> stop no, I don't want Chris Trot behind me. I, I don't want him. I don't again. want him merging through me. We'll play at the end. We'll play at the end. Yeah, we'll play okay. the video at the end. All right. As soon as Tommy's back, I want to get on with the episode because this is a good episode. I want to play D and D really bad. Um, you can come off of me full screen now, Chris Trot, or unless you're like doing something rude. There we go. Um, as Trotty comes back from a Tommy comes back from a little break. Uh, cool. Excellent. Kim, excellent work. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you had a description for it. Otherwise, I would have just been like, Kim, That's describe right. it. Um, but yeah, very, very cool. That's very, all right. very nice. That's all right. Yeah, did you like uh, my little heart punch touch of the Storm Chaser emblem? Oh, yeah. Always. Always. <laughs> it's fucking great. I can't wait to see think, some cosplay uh, of that. Yeah, I saw, saw some people <laughs> saying in chat like about fan art and cosplay. Speaking of fan art, if you draw fan art of High Rollers and you'd like to share it with us, please do email it, uh, highrollersdnd at gmail.com or post it on Twitter or somewhere that we're going to find it. A lot of people post to places that we don't look or that we don't actively use day to day. I pretty so much always, always have fan art as my uh, phone screen. It's the best and thing ever. My desktop background. It's awesome. Yeah. So cool. And anything you do submit to us, we throw into these lovely fan art videos, which we upload as well and we share. Uh, there you go. Thank you, Chris Trot. Yeah. Put it on <laughs> Twitter. Yeah, it. that's the thing is, I want to, I want to retweet that shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's life. I like how uh, <laughs> in that whole scene with Quill, Rhiannon was just like properly like. <sighs> you <went> gross. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. It got ah! me. I, 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 I teared at that. 
yeah. whole thing. That was great. It got me. Great. So cinematic. Like, very. Yeah. Sailor it's may be rain. strong, but I am not. It's been a very cinematic <laughs> episode so far. Right, Chris yeah, Trot. Very cool. If you are finished eating, <laughs> shall we play some more D&D? &D? <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> Just shoving it in his mouth for fuck's sake. Well, I need him to be <laughs> no, able to no, speak no, no, because no. we're jumping in. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> as I mentioned before, as the storm chaser uh, begins to make its way towards Mirskir, the continent uh, that you have visited before, that you spent some time on before, where Sentry was brought back to life, where Quill died, where you met Araya, all of these different allies and events that have happened, that land is. You can't see it. It's all shrouded by this wall of dark grey fog that just fills the space. Purple flashes, uh, uh, lightning flashes in a dark purple colour amongst the fog. And the thunder you can even hear from this far away. You have a few hours before you will arrive um, uh, in, in at this wall. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, so I think we've landed now, and like I've landed, sorry, and uh, I'm like immediately like now that I know we're so close. I think looking at this this sort of pylon thing we've created, and just making sure everything's ready with that, and mm -hmm. yeah, you know, the yeah, plan at the front is of the set. ship. There's these uh, kind of metal pylons set into the deck, just spaced enough for somebody to hold them both. Um, seems to be the case. Okay, so this this should channel the lightning uh, at least away from the storm chaser, away from everyone. But a Ayla, Ayla, uh, Where, where's it? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so I I saw it in the vision. Y you, you will be okay on here. I, we, like I said, me and Sentry will heal you constantly to 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 if anything goes wrong, but. It's all it's all like the vision. It's it's sure, we just waited much longer, probably. So As you're both talking, uh the crew starts to not get anxious, but they start cutting to work. Araya is calling out like the winds are picking up. Uh, I think as we get closer to that thing, the winds are going to get stronger. I need all hands on deck, all hands on deck. She's kinda of calling out to the crew and stuff like that. Uh, Captain, and she's calling out for Lucius to come up to the deck as well. Um, yep, Lucius will appear. Uh, she'll kind of put, call you up to the, the helm, Lucius, where she's got the, the wheel. <clears throat> I'm afraid, I'm worried about how much stronger this wind's going to get before we reach that wall. We might need to prepare everyone for uh, dealing with that. I'm going to need all hands on deck, especially from yourself, uh, the quartermaster, the engineer, and the crew. Uh, right. Um, I'll, I'll call the orders. She just nods. As the storm chaser grows closer and closer, the wind begins to reach the level of a storm. The airship sways. The crew desperately run around securing lines and making sure the sails, sails are tight as the whole airship begins to sway and lurch in these powerful winds. This is going to take the form of a group skill check. This is a hazard uh, upon the airship. So the way this works is whenever there is some sort of hazard like this, uh, the there are four officers that need to make a check, um, and then the crew will make a check based on the crew's quality rating. Uh, I did, as a reminder, I sent you guys the airship stats in a Google Doc. I will need somebody to have those up uh, to mark off any damage or uh, read out bonuses uh, for the ship and things like that. Uh, the way this goes is the captain or the first mate will need to make an intelligence check um, with air vehicles. So this is to actually run and navigate the whole thing. The first mate, captain, or the morale officer need to make a charisma persuasion intimidation uh, check to keep the crew on task and to make sure that you're keeping their morale high during the storm. The engineer uh, will need to make an arcana check and nominate another character to make a strength check using carpenter's tools to attend to any damages to the ship. Uh, and then finally, the quartermaster will need to make a wisdom uh, survival check uh, to keep the whole thing on course. 
Okay. As long as the more people that succeed, the better the ship will fare in this these heavy winds. Um, I'll roll for the crew. You guys get to divvy up everything else. If you want to have an NPC make a check for you in place, don't forget that you have Lancian, Howard, uh, Greylano. All of these other characters are on the ship, and you can call for them to do stuff. Um, you tell me who's doing what. Um, who's the strongest out of Penny Hello. and Lancian? Hi, friend. Hey, buddy. Out of no, but you, aren't two? you going to be doing checks? Can I... Do I have to stay up at the front? That's what I, I, mean, I guess I need to know from you're, Bale. You've not, even, you. you've not even reached the, the grey fog yet. I mean, this is okay, just the well, winds think... coming off of the storm is creating... Uh, yeah. Well, you know, okay. I say storm. This is assist... like the winds before. I will assist Nova as much as I can with the strength-related checks mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. we get to a point where I need to not okay. be there. Yeah, you can nominate Ayla okay. to do the checks for now. Uh, for future reference, though, Penny's probably stronger. Lancian's more wiry and tall and lanky. Penny's got a bit of a longbow woman's build. You know, she's got a bit of upper arm strength to her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, I guess Captain uh, Captain Lucius, you have a choice. You, you can either make the intelligence check uh, for air vehicles, which is the running of the ship and kind of navigation via the helm, or you can make the charisma persuasion intimidation check uh, to kind of boost the crew's morale. I think... Uh, or I nominate will... someone else to do it. Can I get Sentry to assist me with the morale? Mm -hmm. uh, check. Yep. Kind of divvy sure. operations so that everyone gets reached. Yep. Sentries that will give you advantage on the roll. Mm -hmm. yeah. It takes up Sentry's whole, like, that's what Sentry's doing during this crisis. If there's anything else, Sentry won't be able to do it, but she can assist you on that. Um, so, and then, yeah, you can either make a persuasion or intimidation check for that. Um, so, in that case, you're going to leave Araya to do the intelligence check at the actual helm. Better than me. <laughs> okay. Um, and I... then Quill. Uh, if I was to be popping off guidance uh, as much as possible, would that be like taking you won't be up able my to... entire turn? Okay. Yes, you would. Well, yeah, exactly. You wouldn't be able to do anything else, um, and you'd have to choose one person to basically keep doing it to. This isn't right. just like one turn. These checks are representing over the next couple of hours you navigating this storm. So Quill will just be stood there like guidance, 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 guidance. Yeah, sure. Okay. No, I'll do the navigation instead then. Okay, uh, so yeah, so uh, in that case, uh, Lucius, make a persuasion or intimidation check with advantage. Um, Nova, make an arcana check. Ayla, you'll be making just a raw strength check unless you're proficient in carpenter's tools, which I don't believe you are. <laughs> oh, Lucius. Mm -hmm. And then Quill, it's a uh, survival check for you. Okie dokie. Uh, oh. Yep, that's pretty right. good. Survival 29, 27. So 27 on I the survival. Rolled, um, I rolled a natural one. Great. So. That's oh. a failure then. So we have Six. a 27 survival. Uh, that is a success for the, the uh, quartermaster's check. That's a failure on the carpentry check. Arcana check from the engineer. 19. 19. That is a success. Um, so you managed to kind of keep the Ethereum engines. You're kind of making sure that all the magical components of the ship are working. Ayla is trying, like, you're trying to instruct Ayla of, like, I need you to, like, saw off this piece of wood because it's going to come loose or, like, blah, blah, blah. You're kind of directing her to do things on the ship that are more physical. Um, Ayla, it's like having a million things shouted at you at once and you're not really sure what you're doing and you just don't seem to really be helping all that much. Um, she's and then probably Lucius. thinking about the fact that she has to be a human lightning yeah. rod, so she's very distracted. Sure, that makes sense. That makes sense. Elf. Elf. And then Lucius, what was the, to the total on your thing? I saw that you got a crit. I'll read it out for 29 with a crit. Um, so between yourself and Sentry, you are just basically keeping everybody together, making sure orders are communicated clearly, and generally encouraging the crew's morale, making sure that they don't feel afeared going into the storm. I will roll for the crew. What is the crew's quality, uh, somebody who has the ship stats? Quality? Mm -hmm. uh, Should be plus eight. the top. I've got loyalty. Uh, oh. Okay, so the plus eight gives it a 26 on the crew. Oh. 
Nice. Not everybody succeeded, um, which makes this a just a success rather than a total success. Um, but the, the Storm Chaser over the next few hours manages to weather these buffeting winds uh, without any discourse. You know, the ship is unscathed. You manage to stay on, on course um, as the ship plunges forward. And over the next couple of hours, eventually the Storm Chaser's tip pierces the veil of this grey fog as it blends in disappearing before your very eyes as you emerge into a thick soup this thick grey heavy fog as soon as you pass through the winds die down becoming not still but nowhere near as fierce as they once were outside in the distance you can hear thunder rolling you can see flashes of lightning but none around you they seem to be further in closer to the heart of the storm itself visibility is limited you can barely see 10 feet around you this fog is so thick it cloys and sticks to the air around you you cannot see anything navigating this fog is going to require some checks mainly from the quartermaster, the captain, and the crew. Okay. Uh, is it more survival checks? Uh, you've got choice on this one. You can make a survival or a perception check, Mr. Quartermaster. Oh. <laughs> is, there way, is there a way I could cast a spell to help with visibility? What, what spell do you want to cast? Daylight? Well, okay. Of yeah. Light. I mean, are you guys casting um, them? So could I like could I cast daylight like on my sword and then like plunge it into the front of the ship to make like a mm -hmm. sphere of like bright light? Like a beacon. Yeah. yeah. So the daylight the daylight does help a little. It burns away some of the fog. I will give um we'll say that Quill can make the check or somebody can make a check with advantage. You choose whether it's the captain, Quill, or the crew. The problem is is that this fog it's not so much like a darkness that you're kind of lighting the way. This fog is thick and the mist the the kind of 60 foot radius of daylight really only gives you a moderately advanced warning of anything uh that would be nearby the difficulty is that you need to determine like your vague location to like the valley of the storms and that's a very far distance away quill's having to navigate um normally by landmarks and is now effectively flying blind um but the daylight does i will give advantage to somebody's role uh for expending the the spell slot um, cool. Uh, Captain, this time uh, you, either you or Raya can make this check, but it's another intelligence uh, air vehicles check. So it's either you or Raya. You're the only two that can make this check. I put more trust in Raya's skills sure. uh, flying this ship than I myself. So. Sure. Sentry, do you want Raya to use your advantage or do you want to give it to the crew for keeping like all the sails and everything tucked in and... <clears throat> Um, oh, I'll keep it on the crew. I think okay. Arai's got right. this. So, Arai will famous make a check. Words. It is famous last okay. words because I rolled a natural one. Uh, God damn! On Arai's check. <laughs> However, oh, the crew boy. gets advantage, and that's lucky because my first roll was a four with the crew, um, but the second one is an eighteen. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> and my so. perception. Well, yeah, what was your perception? Okay. I did see it, so I knew it was a success. 21. 21, yeah, exactly. Um, between the two of you, Araya, Quill, you you can't see, but you know these lands. You've flown through these lands before. There's nothing to really guide it on, just pure wind current. You kind of let yourself kind of attune to the winds around you and sensing where the winds are trying to pull you in a certain direction or push you away, you shout instructions back to Araya. Araya, who is formerly a sea captain, is struggling. Without being able to see with this thick fog and no currents or anything to feel, she just is really struggling to get a, a bearing on this whole thick fog. Um, but the crew come to her aid. Uh, the crew themselves, uh, having spent a lot of time aboard airships, call out uh, things as they feel them. Like, Captain, I feel like we're listening. Or like, first mate, Araya, we're listening a little to the left. You know, they're, they're shouting out their own feelings for the ship, um, and that helps keep it a little bit more on track. Go on, Araya. Uh, is, there any, is, is there anything that I can do to sort of, because I've been sort of looking at this storm and how it is, and 
is there any way I can sense kind of the winds around us and try and help? I don't know if I could, but... Uh, you can make a survival storm. check if you like. You can make a survival check if you like. Okay. Uh, Go on, Kim. 14. Go on over. 14. I was just pondering casting Wall of Light, which casts bright light out to 120 feet and dim light for an additional 120 feet. I mean, even 240 feet, But you're traveling like mm. miles. Like this is like going across huge yeah. swathes of land. Um, it's not going to be any more helpful than Century's Daylight spell, honestly. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. okay. Ayla, it's difficult this thick fog, this grey umbra around you. It doesn't... The winds are strange here. You've only been focusing on them for a few days. You can feel the intensity. The As you grow closer, you can feel that moving towards the heart of the storm, things are going to get more dangerous. But not enough to help Araya. That said, between all of you combined, the ship doesn't list too far off course. Uh, the grey mist begins to peel away, becomes thinner, uh, as you begin to see once again shapes of mountains and land forming. It's not too late, you won't be able to avoid it, but up ahead, Quill, you can feel that the aether currents, the wind currents born from these magical storms, have formed a sort of whirlpool. Uh, around the area that kind of covers the front of the Valley of the Storms, an area that you will have to pass through to reach it. Uh, you can see the uh, Arakoka Messenger Tower lies near the center of this kind of whirlpool um, of currents. Uh, you don't have any disadvantages because you didn't fail on your previous checks, but you don't have any advantages either. You are going to need to cross these this whirlpool of currents. Uh, this is going to be another group check. You can, uh, it's very similar to the one from before for the storm, with the captain, first mate, engineer, and quartermaster making checks. Uh, this one will take time to travel across. You might need to make several of these checks to try and kind of cut across the outer rim of the whirlpool uh, as it extends. The whirlpool of currents you suspect Quill is approximately about 330 feet across, um, and it is very strong. The winds have a very high velocity. Among, in this in this whirlpool, um, it will okay. probably take you about uh, eighty feet a time. Sixty. It will probably take you about four four rounds of, of travel. Let's call them. Um, okay. Is there anything that anybody else would like to do? Any any kind of like ideas that you would, have? Tiangong has dark vision up to sixty foot. Would that help if I the ask mist Tiangong is now the, age, right, to... the mist is is parted now. The mist it's as just... you travel through it, okay. yeah, uh, it's now thinned out enough that you can see around you. Um... You begin to feel yeah, the ship listing. The aether currents of this whirlpool begin kind of wrapping their tendrils around the ship, around the storm tracer, trying to bear it closer. Uh... Um, hmm. Can I? Is there a way I can? I, can I cast like en enlarge and try and make myself kind of like an anchor, almost giving myself more weight, so people can like mm -hmm. hold on to me if need be. Try and like, yeah. keep people. Yeah, stable. if anybody was if anybody was going to run the risk of being pulled off the ship, you definitely form a much higher anchor um, by increasing your weight for sure. Yeah. Cool. Right will, now, the main danger is to the ship. The main danger is yeah. to the ship being pulled into the center of this vortex. Quill, uh, you and Araya would both know that if the ship reaches the 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 very the the vortex, the the center of this whirlpool, it will try and pull the ship down to the ground. It's actually kind of sucking things in and throwing them down. You can even see uh, amongst the whirlpool of currents, huge chunks of rock and land have been pulled up and are swirling around it almost like debris um, as you go around. Um, mm, damn. So, okay. uh, Captain, uh, Araya will make the, uh, the, the piloting check, if you want to call it that. Uh, somebody will need to give the crew a boost uh, as a persuasion check. Um, Nova, you'll need to make an arcana check and nominate somebody to make strength checks around the ship. Uh, and Quartermaster Quill, you will need to make another survival check. Sure, okay. You with me, Ayla? I can do strength, Sounds hopefully. Strong. Cool. Wow. Yeah. 
Ooh. Nice. Well, I got 19 on survival. Oh! <laughs> 18 on okay. persuasion. Uh, 21 on strength. Okay. 25 on Arcana. Okay. This time, however, sadly, this vortex is a vexing foe. Lucius, you're calling out to the crew, but your voice is being lost on the winds. Like, as you're trying to call out encouragement and orders, some of the crew are panicking. They don't quite know what's going on. They're desperately pulling on the ropes. Like, we're going to be pulled in. We're going to be pulled in. Um, your words aren't reaching them. Quill, these winds are far stronger than anything you are familiar with. And trying to Nineteen. navigate them. Yeah. Uh, you came close. Like, you almost have a grip on it, but you just underestimated the strength, the velocity of this whirlpool. Thankfully, Nova, uh, you managed to kind of divert power from the Ethereum engines, which kind of gives it a surge enough to kind of keep it from being dragged fully in. Um, Ayla, you're running around and several of the crew almost go flying, uh, but you managed to grab them along with Sentry, who kind of weighs down several of the, the more vulnerable crew like Howard and Lancian. You prevent them from flying off, you know, cut loose by the winds the three of you all managed to kind of grab onto ropes and pull them in um bringing in the sails to avoid them taking any damage uh um and Araya, however is struggling with the wheel to kind of keep it level uh this time this is unfortunately a failure you feel yourselves being pulled in towards the center of the vortex um if you don't break free you will eventually make your way into the center you have a few seconds before it happens uh so it's going to be another round of checks or if you'd like to do anything different uh, oh God. So portent, I can just do that as like a free action, right? Yeah. Um, okay, I'll give Araya a 12 before her modifier. I hope she has okay. like a plus 8, uh, at least. Um, I, 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 I don't actually know what her modifier is. Okay. You don't? Uh, so you so use portent on Araya? Her. Sure. Yep. Um, and and then carry on doing a survival check if that's what I'm doing. Sure. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind, Kim, as well for you, the engineering check is the full action. So if you wanted to cast spells, you'd have to ask somebody else to do the engines. Yeah. No, I was looking at um, the action of full speed ahead about mm -hmm. pushing the Ethereum engine so we could have more speed. But I'm kind of like that would certainly help that right now. Uh, it's a risky time for doing that. Um, but I think I might... I might do it. I might feel the Noz canister and, and, and sure. punch it. Yeah, you can do that I if you'd like. <laughs> you, if, you, if you choose to do that, you will need to nominate somebody else to do the the, data, the, the regular engine stuff. So if you choose to do the full speed oh. ahead, somebody else will need to take care of the regular engine work. Uh, which the crew can do. They don't have as high a bonus as you, but you have two people in the crew room with you. Uh, who can do that? They're just not as good. Yeah, I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit. Why not? Like, let's give okay. ourselves a big old engine mishap. All right. In that case, uh, let's do everyone's. Let's do your uh, engine stuff last. So, Quill, if you oh, give yeah. me the survival check, uh, Lucius, another persuasion check, um, Sentry, uh, Ayla, sorry, another strength check. Uh, I will make a check for uh, for the crew and Sentry. What are, you, what are you doing? So you've got this enlarged form. You're kind of holding yeah. some of the crew down. Is there anything else you want to do in this in this um, point? So can I see that Arias kind of struggling to control the ship? So once I got mm -hmm. the cute, once I get the crew all like secured down, can I go over to Arias and help her turn the wheel and like try and sure. pull it with her? Yeah, make a um, just roll strength for me. Just d20 plus strength. Awesome. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Plus strength is... That's a plus seven I mean, on my strength. Oh, that's 20. 20. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't notice. Hey! 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 Uh, let's didn't even look at let's it. Let's go around. So, Ayla, strength check. Uh, 24. 24, okay. Um, the crewmate that Nova, you assigned to work the engines, one of the wolf pack, uh, just kind of is like, I, I uh, engineer, and then they actually do a pretty good job. They get a 21 on their check, um, which good is boy. pretty good. Hey. Uh, Lucius, persuasion. Yeah, hey, I got, I got twelve. Twelve. Okay. Yep. Um, <laughs> that's a failure. Quillek. Yep. Uh, Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, perfect. Um, 
Araya will succeed. The portent wasn't enough, but with Sentry's aid, it's enough that Araya can, can give power to the ship, uh, which is going to turn this into <laughs> a regular success. Um, so the ship begins to kind of pull itself free of the vortex, and it's it's now moving normally. Nova, you want to use the full speed ahead action. I can't believe it's called full speed ahead and not given it all she's got, Captain. Because it's not Star Trek. Um, so you make an Arcana Should check. Star Trek. Okay. Yep. Give me an Arcana check. If you succeed, Kim, you can call uh, it that. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I rolled a 17 plus 6 is 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Cool. Roll a d6 for me and multiply the result by 5. I rolled a three times five is 15. Fifteen. Fifteen. So you manage to give the um, engines a booster, another b boost of speed, and you begin to feel the ship pulling itself free of this uh, drag, this velocity of these winds, pulling it back into the middle of the whirlpool. You make some leeway, um, but you still have to reach the other side of the whirlpool uh, as you kind of stretch across some of it uh, that threatens to pull you back in. Um, it's another round of checks to see if you are pulled or fail to escape this got. these aether currents uh, <laughs> around you the dark sky there's no the whole area by the way is enshrouded by this dark gray fog that you traveled through before so inside um, it's very dim there's this kind of dark light you can see lightning in the distance in the direction you're, you're heading towards thunder ru uh, roars and passes over the ship as you do so um, and then, yeah. So, yeah, another round of checks, please. Uh, or if anybody oh, wants to do yeah. anything different. Uh, I'd like to give my um, natural one portent to someone, please. Okay. Right here. Oh, I'll like take that. that. Sure. Yeah. May as well just give it to Lucius. Let's just not waste any time. I mean, yeah, it's not that, like, <laughs> the things that Lucius is, it's not like Lucius is, is not doing a good job. It's just that these winds are so strong, like, it, people can yeah, barely yeah, yeah. hear you. You're like, ah, da, da, da. <laughs> That's what I'm shouting. Can I try? If I don't know if this would work, could Sorry. I? If I expended a rage to get really mad at the storm, not at the people, but get really okay. angry and just go, come on, really loud to try and intimidate the crew or. It's, sort of somewhat <laughs> give them a burst of yeah, I will yeah. absolutely I in place of Lucius making that check you could absolutely make an intimidate check for sure and I'd let you use your strength for it you can use your strength modifier I mean, they're about nice. the same to be honest one difference but oh it's not that great um 19, 19. we're not over 20 no uh Quillic and Kalar on a per survival check please a survival. Uh, 28. Okay. Uh, oh, Nova, geez. Arcana check for the Enjons. Punching it. Uh, 13 plus 6 is 19. Oh. 19. Okay. Uh, Lucius, Sentry, is there anything you guys want to do? Uh, everybody else is kind of taking care of the roles right now, so if you guys want to do anything unique or special, now is the time. Um, I'm not sure how much Lucius's own abilities can help in this situation. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be like a spell. It could be just like a, an RP. Like, you know, what what would Lucius try and do in this situation? I think seeing Sentry try and twist the wheel uh, <laughs> last uh, or the helm, I might stand beside them and do the same thing knowing that we're mm -hmm. lurching ever closer towards the middle so just assist um, you're assisting Araya basically assisting Araya again yeah mm -hmm. sure what I'll do go on Katie is it about your advantage I get advantage on strength checks sure yeah you can roll again it might not help <laughs> it didn't help it's worse no. never mind oh <laughs> so you are shouting at the crew however right now they're just in kind of panic they're they're well not panic they are a seasoned crew but they're just so focused on like the we got to do this we've got to do that like we've got to pull in the sails we've got to try and get on the other side of the current um they're, they're not focused on what you're yelling at them basically um Araya with uh, sorry sentry you didn't say what you wanted to do my apologies um i think with uh 
yeah, Lucius and Rai are helping. So then I guess I'll go with the crew and like use mm -hmm. and like help pull pull ropes, pull rigging. Do just, yeah, you can. See, like, you where can do you want me? Where do you want me? And then sure. I just like yeah. Yeah, Kamara's just like hold this, and she's like you know like pointing to several of the lay ropes uh, which uh, work for the sky sails. Yeah, she's still enlarged. Yeah. Just like um, grabbing the sails. <laughs> boom, 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 like Spider-Man yeah, with the, like the train. Holding the train. <laughs> <laughs> with that help, uh, Araya, thanks to your Lucius, thanks to your help, Araya manages to get the ship back on course. And with Sentry's help, the crew manages to actually secure the lines. And again, you manage to just make that final kind of push um, through Ooh. the edges of the whirlpool. Uh, to emerge on the other side, uh, the current's kind of failing before you. However, as you emerge on the other side of these strong currents, Quill, you now see the familiar sight of the Valley of Storms. You can see the the messenger tower, by the way, when you were passing it on the Whirlpool, Quill, like it was a ruin. Uh, it has been ripped apart, sections of it have been destroyed by lightning, it is a broken spire of what you remember. Um, so, was this the town we didn't end up going to, like the capital of Mirsgir? No, you are coming in. You've come in from the south, almost following um, the same route that you took when you were teleported here. You've come in from the south. The messenger tower is to the south of the Valley of Storms, and you've just now passed that, and you can now see the Valley of Storms right. and the Stormwall Mountains behind it in front of the Storm okay. Chaser. Oh, that's bad news. I won't mention that to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> the storm ahead is worse than it has been previously. The strong winds do die down, but now you can begin to see the intense lightning is growing in rapidity and power. The storm almost seems to come alive Amongst the dark grey clouds, you can see a draconic form. The clouds shaping themselves into a large draconic face that roars in fury and rage as lightning begins to fall all around. One blast just narrowly misses the Storm Chaser with such power that as it strikes the ground, it leaves a smouldering crater dozens of broken pieces of stone and land around it. Ayla! Ayla, it's time! Ayla! We need you up front! Uh, Ayla's not gonna say anything. She's just gonna walk mm -hmm. towards the pylons and just mm -hmm. stand between them. Um, just close her eyes, take a deep breath in, and then just grip onto the pylons and she'll just say if you're within 10 feet of me I might be able to help you resist some of this Okay. but you should get uh, safe the storm is still raging around Araya the crew like people are still going to need to do jobs on the ship at this stage so uh, Araya will still need to fly the ship um, the engineer is still needed to manage the engines uh, quartermaster you are still needed to help navigate these winds uh, that are still blowing around. Okay. Um, so, uh, it begins, however, before any of you make checks, as the Storm Chaser plows its way down into the Valley of Storms itself. You can see in the far distance, the valley comes to a point and there appears to be some sort of structure, a temple, at the very far edge of the valley. The first bolt of lightning strikes the storm chaser its accuracy is unnerving it is as if it has been targeted by a living thing willed to strike the ship itself but it is all the lightning courses through the wood through the sails through the engines and then it is pulled away in an instant as you see the lightning course up through the pylons directly into Ayla herself as the lightning courses through her body. Ayla, you take 80 lightning damage, half to 40. Um, <laughs> this is gonna straight up kill me, you realize. Can as the lightning courses through your body, Ayla, your vision goes white. You appear to be standing in a long golden hall. Its form is hazy 
and distant, as though you're not fully there. Men and women, all elves, sit at tables, drinking, feasting, cheering together. Some are wounded, scarred, with lost limbs that have healed. They wear tartan of different colors and shades, some of which seem to match your own. And at the very end of the hall, in a large chair laden with furs, multiple weapons behind him, sits a man. He's tall and well-built. His features are human, not elven. A thick blonde beard covers his jaw. A cape of blue wraps around his shoulders and a heavy leather belt around a red tunic he is wearing. He sees you, though the others do not. He raises one curious eyebrow and grins. And then you snap back and you're back on the Storm Chaser. I need everybody to make those uh, associative rolls, please. Um, uh, uh. And then Sentry and Lucius, what would you guys like to do during all of this? I think Lucius would turn around, uh, letting go of the helm, kind of mm -hmm. putting a hand on the shoulder of Araya, nodding. And as she, I assume, goes back to steering, um, mm -hmm. and just face down the whole ship, looking at everybody, Ayla with the uh, pylons, and making sure everyone's doing it, and just call out that this is it. This is why we're here. The final push. Stay strong, everyone. Stay together. Great. Yeah, you feel like the crew. Stir steals their resolve. You can see that this this is far more than they expected, but they steal their resolve. They barrel down, they double down on their tasks. Kamar is just like, you heard the captain, we've got a job to do. And like, they all start pulling in the lines, realigning the sails to, to give as much speed as they can. Um, but yeah, you feel that that kind of ripples through the, through the whole ship, instilling everybody with confidence. Uh, Quillock, what'd you get on your roll? So I got a 20. Uh, as I look around, is this the vision or is it yet to come still? This this is the vision. You can see everybody's position standing around you. Even Sentry in her enlarged form now closer matches this, you know, armored titanic figure you saw. Ayla holding the pylons being blasted by the lightning, the storm, the gray skies. Everything seems to fit exactly as you saw it come to pass. Um, awesome. You help guide the ship. Uh, Nova, what'd you get on your Arcana check? Uh, 25. 25. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the ship, it is going to take a small amount of damage to the hull. You succeed, but the blast of lightning still causes damage. Uh, the hull is going to take 14 points of damage, and every other component, so the helm, the sails, the engine, takes one. Um, as the lightning kind of courses through the ship as you barrel towards the hull, uh, your The hull is where I am, right? Yeah, yeah. You're channeling so most with, of this energy away. Within 10 feet of me, things mm -hmm. take half damage to lightning. Okay. Because it's the hull in my is, aura. The hull is big enough that your aura Don't is not going to really help the ship. Okay. Yeah. The people on the ship, you are pulling the lightning before it has a chance to hit yeah. them. Otherwise, everybody in the ship would be taking 80 lightning damage. You're pulling that away into you. Nobody else is suffering lightning damage right now. Um, okay. Sentry, what do you want to be doing? Um, so can I stand like behind Ayla, um, mm -hmm. just ready to help her? And if I cast protection from energy, from lightning energy on Ayla, does it give her like double resistance? It, like, it doesn't stack, unfortunately. It doesn't work like no. that. Her, her innate okay. lightning resistance can't get any better. Yeah. Okay. Um, so can I can I then cast it? Well, actually no. I'll, what I'll do is I'll just I'll stand behind her, get my lay on hands ready for when she needs it, mm -hmm. and I'll just be just just close to her. Okay. Uh, as you go to do that, another the ship barrels down. You can see the ground, the mountains, kind of beginning to hurtle past the storm chaser. Another immense bolt of lightning strikes. Ayla, you take another eighty lightning damage, half to forty. <laughs> as it erupts through the whole hull. Your vision flashes once more, returning to that same hall, that hazy golden white light. But this time the figure cocks his head as you stand before him. What's this? A strange mortal to have in my hall? Let me through. <laughs> 
You misunderstand, little elf. Wherever you are, whatever is sending you to me is none of my doing. I am far from your realm, far as, or farther than you can imagine. Then give me the resistance to help me. I'm trying to save an entire planet here. It's not about me. Ah. I can do no more for you than what you already have. You already carry my power within you. There is only so much more I can do. What is, is that the all storm? you have to ask? The storm. What is the storm? Ah. It is both of me and not of me. It is a storm, natural as a storm can be, fierce, wild, tempestuous. But there is a darker magic at work in it. I can feel a presence, an evil, malicious, greedy intent that shapes, corrupts it. Whatever you face, little elf, it is a mighty foe indeed. The light the vision fades as you return to the deck of the storm chaser um i need everyone to make those checks again oh shit uh sentry you can see yeah Ailey, ayla's body is now you can see it's like in the the wet rain her body is steaming from these the lightning as it strikes like mist is just rolling off of her um like red marks and lines all down her body i'll give her some cure wounds i'll give her like uh i'll give her, I'll give her 20 Cure wounds, From lay on quiz. hands? Yeah. Lay on hands, yep. sorry, yeah. Quill. Am Survival. I able to bonus action as well with this, or...? You can bonus action. Uh, cool. Uh, in that case, I think I'm going to start just picking away with um, some bonus action healing on Ayla as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I got a 24 on Survival. Um, 24. Okay. One success on that. Um, Nova, engines. 17. 17. Uh, Lucius, what do you want to do? I'm wondering two things. Yes. Yes. Can I chromatic control the next lightning bolt? How does your, what does chromatic control say again? When a creature you can see casts a spell, uh, I guess it's not necessarily a spell. Like this is not a spell. A creature. Yeah, this is um, natural lightning, unfortunately. It's the same way that Sentry's aura isn't affecting the lightning. It's not making it any less can powerful. I instead, then, absorb lightning as an element. Absorb elements. Uh, you are not taking any lightning damage. Okay, so it's Do you want to just, like, cast it on, like, the hull of the ship? Like, you're kind of, like, going to try and siphon yeah. some of the energy away? Okay, yeah, if the if the ship takes damage, I'll let you cast Absorb Elements as a reaction to reduce the damage to the ship. It will give that? resistance to the hull. Yeah, so it get half to the hull. Yeah, okay, we'll do that then. Um, and that's good because, yeah, unfortunately, more than half the checks failed. Both Araya and the crew failed at their check. You see the crew become shaken by everything that's going on. Uh, can you reduce their quality by one for me, Nova? Um, and the hull is going to take some damage as well. But it is going to be half, thanks to Lucius. 16, 26, 32, half to 17. So the hull takes 17 points of damage, and the other components in the ship will take four points of lightning damage. Um, as Lucius slams, you slam your hands down and conjure the absorb element spell. A, a, an unusual way of using it, but it does siphon off some of the uh, lightning damage um, away from the Storm Chaser itself. Um, you continue hurtling towards, but now against these furious winds in the storm, the storm chaser is beginning to slow. Uh, Ayla, another blast of lightning. 80 lightning damage reduced to 40. Your vision snaps once again. You find yourself back in the golden halls. <clears throat> How do I get more people like me? How do I unite the elves? Who has powers? I wish I could help. I am very far from your realm. It has been eons since I was last there. I left after I defeated Hadar and gave a portion of my power to a young woman. I left in mourning for my brother, my father, and found a new realm. Your people, whatever power you carry, 
It is a remnant of mine that I gave to someone else. I do not know how we are connected. I do not know across time and space how we speak of this. All I know is that you are one of mine. Uh, a cousin. A tiny, tiny cousin of mine, perhaps. You carry just a small, a small fragment of my power in you, little elf. But I ask you this. Why do you need others? You stand before me suffering such great pains. You are clearly a mighty warrior. You need no one else. Hadar is back. And I trust that when you meet him, you will show him my power once more. The vision fades. You cut back to the storm chaser. Uh, another round of checks, please, everybody. The coolest shit. This is so fucking yeah. cool. <laughs> this is rad. <laughs> uh, oh my god. I rolled a nat 20, which is 26 total. 26. Fantastic. Quillick, survival. 19. 19. Uh, yeah. The crew does succeed. Um, Araya fails, uh, so that's currently half. Lucius, Sentry, what are you guys doing? I'm going to assist Araya, if possible. Okay, sure. I'll give uh, Araya a second roll, which is a success. Uh, she gets an 18 and goes mm. higher. Fantastic. Awesome. Um, sentry. Um, I'm going to give Ayla uh, 20 more lay on hands points, but as I'm doing it, can I like look back to the crew and be like, come on, look at what she's doing. We can do this together. <sighs> There's like Ayla's a cheer. People are, yeah, people are trying to like go with it. They're focused mainly on trying to keep the ship alive, but there is just like a yeah. cheer that echoes even above the wailing storm. Um, one last blast of lightning as you can see the very end of the, the Valley of Storms. And now you see the ruined huge stone statue that resides at the very end of the valley a small templed building beneath him leading into a great structure held within the figure once would have had two angelic wings holding aloft a mighty quarter staff one of those wings sheared off the staff broken so it is a spear tip at its center statue of Hesper above his temple. But the last bolt of lightning, Ayla, 80 points of damage, half to 40. Are you still up? Yep. The vision snaps once again and you hear the peaceful quiet of this golden hall. How do I defeat Hadai? When we, when my brothers and I, the first divines we called ourselves of your realm, we knew that there was only one way. We sealed him into the far realm, a place where his power is lesser. But it took much. Only a deity, a true divine, can open the gate between the far realm and yours. He is most vulnerable inside the Far Realm. If he were to escape back into yours, his devastation, his power would be extreme. But only a divine can create enough space for you to exist within the Far Realm before being driven mad. If you can find her, that young girl, Siaska, the one who took over the responsibility for your realm, she is the one who can let you exist in that space. Siaska's not here. What about she her daughter? Ha! <laughs> my, my! If the young woman has had a daughter, then she too carries a spark of divinity, and she would be able to create the way. Our time is coming to an end, little elf. I can sense that you have already passed through the worst of the storm. But let it not be said, that my hospi hospitality is lacking. He stands up and takes something from around his waist, a belt. Strides forward. <coughs> snaps it around your waist. Puts a big, firm hand over your shoulder. And you can see, actually, and then he holds out his arm. 
and a hammer which was resting on the wall flies from the wall into his hands <laughs> and when you face that bastard hadar you show him the power the power of that is res that resides within you show him the power of thor and then the light oh, flashes shit. and you are back into on the storm chaser the storm chaser screeches through the air almost twisting as it just manages Araya glides the storm chaser into a nook just underneath parts of the temple sheltered away from the storm no more lightning comes the winds die down as the looming temple of hesper stands before you oh my christ <laughs> ayla Jesus. hi add to your character sheet uh from the inventory list i believe i'm just going to check what i called it uh i believe it's called the storm king's belt oh belt of storm oh. king so many belt of the storm king today <clears throat> when you equip it uh you can read what it does <laughs> oh cool 25 <laughs> strength what? 25 uh, so strength yeah, it sets Ayla's strength to 25, mm. and also, whenever you deal damage with your Storm Aura, you add your Constitution modifier to the damage now as well. Ooh, tasty. Ooh. And Brad. when you look at Ayla, in that last bolt of lightning, there is a belt that wasn't there before, uh, and it bears just a single... Uh, wide-headed, short-hafted hammer in the very middle of it, like a buckle. Uh, and it's a studded leather belt uh, that kind of wraps around her chest, uh, around her waist. Fits perfectly. Nice. Yeah. I'd like Replacing the kind of thinner one before. It's like, psh, like a big, wide, girdled belt. Like, psh. Like a WWE From the sheer amount belt. of like lightning that she's lightning that she's just absorbed, I'd like to think there was those like thin lightning type streaks scars. like the tattoos like the lightning scars mm -hmm. that just yep. go up her arms from where she's been holding on to the pole sure. just just at the sort of from her hands up to maybe her bicep there's probably like yeah. just from just how much she's just taken yeah 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 but you see that ayla's muscles kind of surge with even more strength than there was before and then she's just gonna lie on the ground and be like i see that wasn't so bad i'm just gonna <laughs> take a nap <laughs> No, we made it. We so made it. it. We got through. Smart it. it. Oh. Yay! The... So well. That was incredible. Sentry, Quill, couldn't have done it without you. Literally, like I, I would, I would have died. So um, we couldn't have yeah, done it without nap. you. Nap. Hey, what's we this? Blown to pieces. <laughs> Look at this bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's real. I, I saw some Did... things. Uh, what did you see? Thor. Thor. The Storm King what? is Thor. You don't you don't know who Thor is. None of you know who Sentry, that is. What's so, up I, Thor? I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. He's a big dude. And he had a hammer and it just flew right into his hand. And he apparently, he called me like a, a small, small cousin of his. But he's where I get the power from. And uh, yeah, I spoke to him a little bit. And he's, he's real mad at Hadar. So, got to could I kill that bugger? Who isn't? Uh, no. Well, okay, yeah. Cool. If he's mad at Hadar, then he's on the right side, I suppose. <laughs> also, only a divine can trap Hadar, and Val accounts. That's it. This is the info. Take from that what you will. I'm just gonna lie down. Just okay. Perfect. I'll give Ayla like, okay, my I last mean... lay on hands points. Just like <laughs> pat her on the shoulder and just like pew, give her the last twenty. Oh, I'll, thanks. Uh, <laughs> I'll summon Grey Lana now that things have died down and ask her to assist Taylor. And, <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the, the rest of the crew, um, as Grey Lana comes up, says the rest of the crew kind of collapse on the deck, kind of much like Ayla, just kind of sitting down, laying down, breathing heavily as they all look absolutely exhausted from this desperate uh, journey through the storm wall. Um, uh, Nova, the ship comes to a, a standstill. There's no need to kind of watch over the engines as it is effectively not crashed, but it is basically landed itself in a kind of overlook near the temple. Um, uh, Greylano comes up and begins examining Ayla and just like, 
Uh, well, magical healing will be best here. Uh, she's lost a lot of energy. No permanent damage except these scars, and she's kind of testing it. Does this hurt? And she squeezes, like, your forearms and stuff, Ayla, like... Is there any pain Bam, from this, or...? No. Oh, okay, well, there's some scarring, but uh, it seems that she's avoided cool. any... Cool! Open your mouth, or... <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. Ah. It's like, well, the tongue's as... a little darker, but... As, as I think I just that. need a drink of water, please. It's like... Take Maybe a drink like... of ale. Ale would also work. How how would we go and drink. fetch ale? Whatever you need. What were you saying? Sorry, Sentry. Sorry. Yeah. As um as Greylano's doing that, can I sit there like like watching intently, watching. like taking notes? Yeah. Just yeah. Watching yeah. Greylano She's just testing it. like reflexes, like seeing if there's like any internal burning and stuff like that. You can see. Uh, yeah. Howard quickly rushes up with like a big pitcher of ale. Um, he's covered in like. But clearly the stocks in the pantry have spilled all over him <laughs> during the flight so he's covered in like spices and oils but he's like oh here you go miss sailor i've got some ale and this like pours out like a big cup of it and stuff for you um the those of you who aren't directly engaged in all of this anybody who's kind of a little bit distant you notice how quiet it is there's no wind there's no birds, there's no sounds of anything except your own crew. It's silent still. There's no breeze. It feels dead here. I think um, it's safe sorry, to no. say... I, I think it's safe to say that we're in the eye of the storm. That's why it's so still here. The... The storm is partly a natural storm, but it's been corrupted. I have a feeling that it's going to be a Hadar-touched storm type thing again. Thor said it had been slightly corrupted. Uh, I mean, I saw I saw Zarkira in the dream, uh, or someone kind of, I imagine, Zarkira, if anyone. Um... But, I mean, we're here now, we're through. We're through and we've made it to the temple. Uh, all that's left is to go down there and see what it could be. But we made it through that. We did it. We, we, we made it through. Lucius? I'm just going to say? I'm just gonna say now, I don't want to go back out the same way we came in. Just well, so hopefully when we're leaving, it'll dissipate. <laughs> Uh, Lucia's just going around with the crew, uh, picking anyone up, making sure everyone's okay, uh, mm -hmm. congratulating them on getting through it. That sort yeah, of thing. They, uh, the super couple of the wolf pack are like, oh, thank, thanks, Captain, and they kind of take your hand and be like, gotta say, we've never been in a storm quite like that one. <laughs> That's a story to tell everyone, eh? And they kind of like nudge each other. There's a kind of, with the wolf pack, uh, they don't think of the bigger picture. It's just kind of, they live in the moment and they're all alive, so they're kind of happy. Uh, Kamara seems a bit more concerned, but uh, comes back and is just like, well, I've, uh, we haven't had any injuries. We didn't lose anyone. That's probably the best storm I've ever come out of, even though it was the worst. Storms, it's easy to lose people, but uh, everyone working together, we got through it. I think this crew can get through anything. It's starting to look like that. I'm still not sure about your whole notions of going up against this callus, but the fact that we weathered this says a lot. Uh, seems everyone's okay. I've done an account for. I've got some of the some of them are down in the uh, crew deck below, ones who are just a bit more tired and exhausted. Uh, I think that if you're if you and Quill and the others are heading inside the temple, it's probably best if the rest of us remain here. Uh, make sure we keep an eye on the ship in case there's anything out here, creatures, enemies, that sort of thing. Yes, we will try and dock it so that anyone can assess the hull, see if there's any damage from the storm and the wind. Uh, there's definitely been some damage. Yes, well, we should be able to repair it with what we've got. It wasn't too severe. Uh, I think uh, a mixture of uh, Ayla diverting some of the energy away, but also just navigating those winds, we avoided any major damage. Um, so we should be fine. We're hoping with whatever's inside... This place, the storm on the way out, which should not be as bad. I hope so. 
I don't want to test our luck again, honestly, Captain. Likewise. Thank you, Kamara. I'll let you get You're back welcome, to it. Captain. You too. She kind of just nods and then goes and starts recounting everybody. She, you hear her just like, all right, that's enough rest. If you aren't falling apart, then you can get, get a longbow in your hands and start setting up a watch and a sentry. We don't know what's out here. And she's kind of calling out to everybody. Uh, yeah, all right, come on. And they kind of get to it. Um, Lookout uh, scopes down, makes his way down from the mast. Um, looking a little rattled, a little bit sort of shaky, uh, but he moves up. I have scanned the area. I have scanned the approximate area of the temple. I have detected that there are several empty camps. It looks as if somebody has been stationed here, but they are no longer in the vicinity. I suspect they are either inside or are no longer here. Okay. okay. Your hand. Hopefully. I'm identified what I believe to be several mechanical beings such as the one that attacked us last time Mr. Johan appeared. A Valkyrian or uh, remnant in nature. What about fish? Yeah, we know. Fishing gear? I have not seen any. Hmm. Thank you, Lookout. Great job. Would you like me to remain here, Sentinel? I think the way ahead is uncertain. There could be danger. Stay with the crew for now, get some rest. Very well, Sentinel. And he just wanders off, sits down in the middle of the deck, closes his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, can Sentry uh, go up to Lucius and just ask how he, how he's feeling? How, how are you feeling, Lucius? That was a lot. Are you, are you okay? Uh, yes, everyone's fine. Thank you. You did a great job. Likewise. Uh, you getting big helps a lot with the sails, so very useful. Uh, everyone did a great job, and I'm looking over at Quill, Nova, and Ayla as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we really pulled it together again. Tough you scrapes. Did. Every other day, it seems. Okay. Hopefully this is the end of one big... Thing. I don't know what, but hopefully Quill gets something out of this. Hopefully. Do you need any rest or anything? Do you need anything to eat? I'll be fine. Thank you. Uh, I'll go down to the uh, crew quarters and, and get some food or something. I think we all should, in fact. Uh, take a moment. Okay. Sounds like a good idea. Right. And he'll uh, quickly turn around and walk away. Mm -hmm. Anything from anyone else? Uh, I'm just, I'm just watching, looking back at both the storm and the temple. Like, didn't get this far last time. Uh, it's true. Actually, made it through this time. So I'm just kind of watching and looking at the area for the, well, I suppose for the first time. Um, actually, I think finishing the, quill... the journey this time. You would notice that embedded into the wall just below the statue of Hesper, quite high up still, but just below the statue, there is a long metal pole with rings attached to it. Each one there would have been tied uh, a piece of cloth ready for the recipients of the Messenger Guild test to grab uh, as part of the final, well, the goal really, to grab one and return it back to the Messenger Tower. Uh, they are all empty now. Ah, uh, I think I would the cloak that I suppose is now tucked way back, uh, mm -hmm. revealing the wing. I think I'll tear a piece off that, and I want to tie a piece to that for when I do get down there. So you fly up, yeah. Well, when you get down there, I suppose, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Nova. You hear kind of uh, Tiangong kind of stir to life. <clears throat> Warning. Area likely at threat soon. Should move quickly. Storm. Do you know what we're... Oh. And the storm getting stronger again, right? Yes, but also powerful being 
inside. Ancient. Old. Sense. Valkyrian Empire. Do you... Do you sense any corruption? The Hadar corruption? Negative. Huh. So Starbane's forces must have come here to take control of whatever power they need. Okay. Is there... Do you know if there's an ancient weapon here? Unknown. Outside my knowledge base. Mostly part of Valkyrian army. Ships, fleets, weapons. Was not involved with Erois much. I don't suppose you ever came across um, uh, 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 Zarkira, did you? Yes, Zarkira. Dangerous. Enemy. Cunning. Clever. Powerful. Rival. Callous. More. I have a feeling... I have a feeling dangerous. from what Johan's told us and... Yeah, from what everyone said, I feel like this is her. I feel like she is here. Likely. Zarkira. Keeping. Secret. From. Callous. Always at odds. Secret research. Hmm. I wonder. Thank you, Apologies. Tinkle. Memory still fragmented. Difficult to understand past lives. You don't... You don't ever have to apologize to me, Tiangong. Come on. <laughs> Very well. No apologies will be performed. Good. <laughs> Just doesn't say anything. <laughs> Deleting sorry from <laughs> vocabulary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is uh, at least a moment of quiet. Uh, what's the plan? You guys want to take a short rest? Do you want to take a long rest? You want to cast any spells? I think you want to make your way to the one temple. Among us, who might want a cheeky little short rest. Cheeky yeah. short rest might be nice. Yeah, you guys can take a short rest. Yeah, take an hour. Good. Nice. Yeah, well, you spent uh, some spell slots. I think centuries out of lay on hands now, aren't you? So. I'm out of lay on hands. Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. can I go find um, Helios? So I don't think you guys have seen Helios since you came see. back from no. astral space. He's not well, here. he had a conversation uh, with Tiangong. He had a, he he did. Oh, he did. He, he saw That's right, Tiangong he did. and was like I, super cool. I, brain is full of a lot of NPC of like who was yeah, there, who yeah. wasn't, and stuff like that. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I guess he would still be on the ship then. Uh, he can't really do anything because <laughs> he doesn't have a, he doesn't have a physical form, so he probably just doesn't appear unless there's something specific. Um, but yeah. You can sort of call out for him and he will materialize. This kind of golden lion man uh, will become apparent, uh, kind of shifting. Um, can I just, can I ask yes. him for, um, for his protection in the temple? Ah, oh, yes, it's been some time, Sentry. I had forgotten uh, of our bond. Uh, yes, I've been distracted of late. The resurgence of Tiangong has me in different minds of things. But yes, uh, if you are dealing with a powerful foe, if it is Zarkira, then I'm happy to lend my protection and my assistance. Thank you very much. Oof, and you feel the head. kind of golden cloak with the kind of furred mane and this long golden light cloak forms around you once again. Awesome. Cool. Uh, yeah, Katie, feel free to take that short rest and roll your HDs and stuff like that. Um, I have rolled some hit dice. Excellent. Earth. Perfect. 
Uh, you will need to, the crew can roll out rope ladders to descend down onto the uh, valley floor below. It's only a short walk to the temple from where you are. You can see that once this area would have perhaps been a, a mighty road, like a big, long, wide road that extended from the temple through the valley, littered with smaller shrines and places of worship, or perhaps even buildings, libraries, uh, research areas. They've all been demolished. They've all been broken by lightning and storms and there's now really just ruins left. Somebody had something? Kim, you had something? Uh, I got nothing. I just raised my hand oh. to scratch my head. Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have an itch. Uh, Throw me off. <laughs> I think Ayla's... Oh, like sorry, wanna... teacher. Oh. To be honest. Ayla's probably yeah. just like... Just for tired. It was a lot. Just yeah. kind of... Yeah. It was a lot. And attuning to new belt. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that in the short rest, actually. So you can do that in the short <laughs> rest. And uh, uh, before we, kind of we go do. down, I'll, uh, I'll give my featherfall token to someone. <laughs> I don't need that anymore. Hey! Sure. Hey. Uh, you know who uh, often need needs those? Sentry. Sentry. <laughs> I think she, Do you not have them, Sentry? I think she do you used not have the last uh, one. I've, I've used my last one, yeah. You've oh, got one. I use mine. Well. I use mine saving With Lucius turtle. and Quill from flying. Yeah. Oh, okay. Didn't really well, work. Yeah. Um. But yeah. I'm then I'll. I guess I as everyone is heading down, I'll fly down, and I want to attach that piece of cloth to the thing, the uh, sure. the pole, to finish that Valley of Storms journey. Sure. Uh, um, which I guess is what I'll come on back top to that of the one winged bird. Yeah. So you'll get to that. Um, you're, once you arrive at the entrance to the temple, it's like a long pole that sticks out of the roof of the temple, and it's got these rings on it that you can attach it to. Um, Nova, did you say you wanted something to do before they left the ship? Uh, no. Well, Kim had this idea that she was going to ring up old Starbane using Dream and be like, hey, Starbane, you know your girls, Arkira's yeah. cheating on you, yo, and she's doing crazy stuff. You want to come and kick her ass and keep her in line? But realistically, I need uh, to go to sleep, and he's cut off. He's blocked me. Um, so I just deleted your number. Happen. You can try. He's I mean, the sleeping number. thing is like, yeah, you need to wait and see if you know, he goes to sleep yeah, and then see if the spell works. But time-wise, it does, no, it doesn't work out. Mm. Like we're short okay. resting and going, so it doesn't work. But it was okay. just an idea um, I had, and I feel like audience might appreciate that that was an idea I had. Um, I mean, you could cast it. <laughs> you could cast it before the short rest, and then spend an hour like seeing if it works, and then after the short rest, be like, oh, okay, I'm done. It's up to you. Nah, I, I think okay. I think given okay. how dangerous this situation is and that I don't know the full intelligence of what's going on here, I don't want to, like, Nova wouldn't do it. Like, I think sure. maybe if Nova knew more about what was going on or we were really stuck or something like that, but right now, no. Sure, okay. It's not letting me, it's not upping my strength when I tune to this for some reason. You might find... Do I have to manually oh, do it? it? Uh, let me. We'll look at it afterwards. You're not gonna. I don't think you're gonna need to That's worry fine. about it today. I will That's look fine. at it afterwards and figure it out. I've had to unattune that... from the ring of free action as a heads up. Oh. Oh, so damn. if anyone okay. wants that, then Ooh, hello. it basically just stops you being grappled and well yeah. restrained and stuff like that. Difficult terrain. You will need. You will need a attunement slot to do it. Uh, I've got a free get slot. Three. Anyone else got a free slot? Nope. No. No. Can I Full take it if I'm the only one with no. a free slot? Yeah, yeah Nova's the only slot, one with a free baby! slot. Ring of free action then, Nova. Moved from mine. Yep, so make sure you add it, Kim. <laughs> uh, ring of free action. Yay! Yeah. So we end, uh, we'll probably end with this. As you guys <clears throat> make your way, Quill, you fly up. Um, you see these marked rings uh, that once would have held pieces of cloth to signify those who completed the trial of the Messenger Guild. Taking that piece of red cloth from your cape, you tie it off with your new wing hand and then fly back down. But as you land, you land before these large, this huge archway, big open. It's not a doorway, it's just an opening that leads deeper into the mountains. 
that this temple is set against. Uh, the temple is kind of set into the back end of the Stormwall Mountains, this giant statue of Hesper above. You look up briefly and you notice, yeah, the, the wing that was destroyed matches your own uh, on the statue. Uh, the tip of the staff has now become a spear. And when you look back down and down into the darkness of the alleyway, almost emerging for a second you think they must he, he must have just kind of materialized from nothing but it must have just been he walked through the darkness uh you begin to see a humanoid shape take form uh as you see a worn looking fisherman with a burnt uh rod on his back uh, oh. as johan appears before you uh it's good to see you i've been waiting and that's where we'll end today's episode Finally! Yay, oh my god! I'm so sorry. We not have more Scottish accents. <laughs> the, the, the best. Scottish no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna insult no, Rams by it. doing a bad. Yeah, I think I did enough we of a voice it. that you it, you can tell it's Johan without yeah. me doing like the oh it's me. Um, but yeah, <laughs> he did it. I did it. Well, no, there I didn't do it in the game it. though. It's I different. Uh, that's true. Uh, but yeah, so oh, next week we're gonna have. Next week, we're going to have a guest player. We're going to have our friend Rabs join us, who plays Johan, who's a character that's been popping in and out Yay. of the campaign um, with this whole Valley of Storms thing. Um, and yeah, you guys are going to enter the Temple of Hesper and try and figure really? out what's causing this storm, this magical storm. Bad um, stuff. All this time. Find the spear. Yeah, Man, one episode. Mark, real quick, that was the uh, that was the best damn episode. That was <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> that was pretty good. damn good. I love oh, you. A lot. Yummy, you yummy, yummy. You keep superseding yourself. Damn Ooh. it! Every I, time, I, every damn time. Yeah. The thing is, is it's it's not just me because it's things like you guys have set your characters up. Like I wouldn't have created all of this if you hadn't created Quill the way you made him. If you hadn't engaged with the things that you know have been dangled in front of you of like Hesper and the questions and everything else. Like you've embraced all of that stuff very very well. If Kim hadn't done the wing, like that's all Kim. That's not that, none of that's me. That moment came purely from awesome players being players. You know, um, so well it's on you guys as well. You guys, well, you guys make the game great too. Well, everyone, that was the best dang episode. <laughs> yeah, it was. Everyone, it was pets on the back. Pets on the back. Pets on the back. There's a lot of me yeah. reading stuff, uh, which I don't like doing. I like having more interactivity, but this was one where there was a lot of visions and a lot of dreams and a lot of weird stuff oh, no. going on. So. It was fun. Mm. I know you guys really like that good. stuff. So. Can I love it? Can I just say I think it's really funny because obviously Katie's characters over the four or five years we've been doing this, Katie's characters never get anywhere near zero HP. So I like, Mark, that you engineered a situation <laughs> where Katie directly was in the line of fire, got down to, like, what, 20 or something like that. So close. 29. So close. <laughs> even then, so close. even when I'm just like, you are taking this damage, there's nothing you can do to prevent it. Not like, you're taking the damage. Yeah. Even then, I still even don't put on zero. Then. So, yeah. even yeah. then. I mean, I'm fine with it. It's tough. Yeah, I know. I I had um, I had resistance. That's the thing. If I didn't yeah. have resistance, I'd be down <laughs> yeah. two hits. Like Katie, well, yeah. Here's, yeah, a, yeah. here's a secret. If you didn't have resistance, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it was the well. whole thing of like I knew you could take it. It was more of a narrative thing. Yeah. It wasn't actually a you know. It was a you know. I mean, uh, it could effect. it could have been a possibility that the, like one could more be. hit would have been like a yeah. toss up. But, and and that was it. It um, was actually everybody else's checks. The checks that everybody was making in between the lightning blast determine how quickly you reach the end. So if they had kept fucking up, if they had been failure, 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 it would have taken mm. longer to reach there, and you would have kept taking the damage. So still could yeah, have happened. 100%. Still could have happened. Still could have happened. But then yeah. if I go to zero, I have to roll a con check to see if I actually die, <laughs> or then just go. Nope, I'm still going. Barbarian. <laughs> I know. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm relentlessly angry. I cannot die. I'm too I'm angry fine. to die. Yeah. Too angry to die. Love it. That's fun. Love it. Uh, I might, though, <laughs> Katie. Just uh, for balance' sake, I might still have you make injury checks if that stuff triggers, because otherwise you will never make an injury check in your life <laughs> based on the current. Well, I, I, if I fail, but the constitution it goes um it goes up difficulty. If it I does, yeah, have to keep making it does, it. yeah. It does. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. I'll play around with it. I'll see. I'll see if I can have a look at the balance on that. Because uh, we'll see. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. Uh, that said, that's that's even if I get you to zero. If I roll a one, then I'm still gonna go down. So still gonna go down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, great. That's that's it. 
Um, anything we need to read out or say? I think otherwise yes, that is it indeed. for today's handout. Uh, did we want to finish up on Yogs and then we can stay for a little longer on High Roller? If we've got a lot of or... stuff to read out, yeah, we can do that. Um, we've got seven minutes sure. uh, still. We've got seven minutes. Okay. There's, there's no will... rush. I'll get all the way through it then. Uh, starting with New Alex, uh, who donates saying, I have uh, I now have a mental picture of Quill reading a small manual in his quarters. Congratulations! You have you are now the proud owner of your new Nova Flight artificial wing. Page one, calibration. Step one of 167. <laughs> oh. <That's> amazing. <laughs> Uh, yeah. One-eyed Willie's one-eyed Willie with a quarter hundo. That Quill and Nova exchange. I'm not crying. You're crying. Uh, thank you very much. You. Mudkip. Uh-oh. I just want to say how much I personally appreciate Nightjar. She does all the work that Simon should do. Oh, not only here we go. Twitch chat, but also in the new Discord whilst playing Ring yeah. Fit and has yeah. random blood at her for no reason. Trey Kappa, second dono after. Okay. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks my gift. That's my oh. fault. That's my fault. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we should start <laughs> vetting these messages and be like, Thank, thanks, Mudkip, but we're just gonna we'll read that one later. <laughs> uh, Actually, Dark technically, it's Simon's fault. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Day forty one. Now that he can fly, does that mean Quill can pop out for milk and come back five years later? This <laughs> guy, fly boy, this <laughs> guy. What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, oh my god thank you Win <laughs> 21 uh, first time I've been able to catch the stream live in a very long time and the first half has been the uh, has been emotional self care episode that I needed tonight wonderful thank you very much Digby uh, Digby Tatham Water um, who has been chat in chat the entire time hyping it up the entire time thank you very much welcome back as you asked yeah. so nicely, Tom, you're a dick. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, sure. You did ask nicely. You did. did. Yeah, he did. did. Yeah. Thank you very much, I think. On a less antagonistic note, I popped in last week and now I am hooked. Thank you all for this. Oh, Got no. me back into D&D myself and I'm playing a new campaign with uh, some of the other ZFs off stream. Thanks again. Nice. Oh, nice. Damn. Nice. So nice. Well done. Nice. Um, I'm Glad to be an inspiration nice. to you. Uh, dungeon Raided. Uh, we are. I mean, not I am. Ah, you called me a dick. I am. Uh, dungeon Raided. This episode has meant so much to me. Watching Quill regain his wing and hug Nova, then drop from the ship and fly again. At Yogcon, I told you about Taini, uh, or Taini maybe? Uh, my own Aracocra inspired by Quill, and it means so much to me to see him succeed. I love you all. Um, yes, very, very cool. Varys. With a donation and a message, as usual, thank you very much. Trom Paul, um, looks like you need to add a, a Storm Chaser emote in honor of the insignia on Quill's new wing. Did we not already we have, have one? Yeah. I think we got rid of it because nobody used we it. We used to have an airship, but we got rid of it because it was a bit weird. And it was a bit weird. Is that not what ended up with the Duns? It turned yeah. into Duns. Yeah. Duns are way Because everyone was using that more than the ship. Yeah. yeah. Milo BK. Quill gets a wing, Lucius gets PTSD, Ayla gets to eat lightning, and everyone gets a humongous hug for being awesome and making my Sunday so enjoyable. I would be freaking out due to the Quill Nova scene, uh, but there are five people in my room studying. Ah, it's fine. Just start shrieking. <laughs> it's fine. Just, yeah. yeah, it's fine. Also, Shriek yeah. away. I don't know why. Uh, Ayla got more than lightning. Ayla got a cool belt, and she got to meet Thor. Yeah. Wrestling so, belt. Yeah, World wrestling champion. belt. champion. Woo! Mr. Piff, uh, with a half hundo. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Piff. Uh, holy hell, what an episode. I thought the last ones were intense. Thank you so much, guys. No, thank you, Mr. Piff. Uh, Mudkip again. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, this one actually is directed to the stream. Thank God. Tom, Tom, fake Birdman. No longer today is the day that Thomasy, Timothy, Dick, Quilly, Quill, Quill become the Birdman, <laughs> wow. the champion of the night. He will be as supple as moi as he moistly <laughs> slips through the air. Yes, I'm making scones. Yummy, yum. And really, <laughs> it's like <laughs> fucking musket. It's just so <laughs> weird. Oh, it's like, I feel it's it, supple. I can feel it in my soul. <laughs> the words are like supple. Kind of greasy 
washing up for so long. It's that's what it's like reading that. It's just oily, greasy donations. And I hate. It. Yeah. I love it. They're it's visceral. Like the word girthy. Yeah. Like, no. Like, Hi zombies, but woo! This has been awesome. So hyped. Trot, you've done excellent with the music and with Lucius not getting over almost drowning. Random fact, uh, drowning drowning is the universal human fear. Even people who don't feel fear due to brain damage still fear drowning. There you go. It's true. Um, I read up on that, actually. That's true. Uh, Yorkshire Dave yeah. with a uh, very generous donation. E buy gum and then some. Incredible. Absolutely flaming lootly incredible. Fantastic role play, mechanics, everything. These should all please stand up and take a bow. There have been many brilliant episodes, but this one was up the freaking scale. Love ya. <laughs> stand up and take a thank bow. You. Uh, thank, thank you very you. much. Uh, Keishi, uh, take my money and subs. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you very <laughs> much. Uh, and that is all of those. <laughs> Discord. I am opening it up, Nightjar. Don't you worry. Oh, I had it open. Uh, Hang on. Oh, you do it. Go ahead, because yeah. I saw there was. So uh, we gifted. had, yeah. So we had gifted subs from near near a shed near Rush Rashid near. I can never pronounce that name. Uh, Punch Rooney ninety five. Marks left nut. Wolfie Kid of Doom, Cooper Orc, and Keishi. Um, 35 gift subs from Keishi. So thank you very much, all of you guys, wow, for the and then lots of lovely wow. resubs and first time subs. And then we also had bits uh, from her sir on HR, sending my spirit energy help to get the Storm Chaser across. And then there was a dolo for, um, from Ola Renve on Yogg's cast, but no message. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nightjar. Thank, As always, beloved everyone. Nightjar. Um, Thank yeah. Thanks Thank very you. much, everybody. Um, that's that's it. I think that's it from us. Um, we that's might be back on Thursday for Curse of Strahd. We might have to change it. We're going to see uh, how things go in the week. We've got a big project thing we're doing on Saturday, and I might need some extra time to get ready for it. But we will do Chaos Twins on Tuesday uh, for Baldur's Gate. Um, and then we'll be back for Rois next Sunday as the team head yeah. into the Temple of Hesper. Um, with yeah. Johan! With Johan, we have Rams. So Chris Yay. Trot, we're going to need another person space yeah. somewhere on this. We can put him. We can put him. Bro, yeah. put him in the middle. Just like, yeah, put him put in the middle, middle, honestly. Like, just, yeah, just fucking him I'll him squeeze him in with Tom. Yeah. yeah. Right next to my half and half. Yeah. No worries. Um. Cool. All right. Well, thanks everybody. See you next time. Enjoy playing. Play more D and D. Do have fun. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> have fun. Bye. 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 Bye.